Hello, everybody! Welcome to the two-year anniversary stream. I can't believe it's been two years. Hello, everybody. Happy to see you here. First things first, you might notice that my voice sounds a little off today. And, of course, this is my luck. Just like I pull the scheme twist at the top of the deck every almost every time. Um, I uh, got sick earlier this week. And uh, today I'm a lot better than the other day. Uh, other days I'm doing okay. It's just the voice that's giving me trouble. But uh, I am happy to be here for you guys. And I'm doing fine. Hello, hello, hello. So we have a lot to do today. We have some giveaways to do for the two-year anniversary. We have the um, Randomizer League results to uh, announce. And we have a new randomized game to play for few number 89. By the way, thank you so much for the follows and uh, the subs. Big B resubbed at tier one for 17 months. Happy two year, 17 month sub. That's nuts. Yeah, I started this whole thing as a project during, during lockdown, you know, trying to do something really just trying to do something and it's blossomed into this with all you wonderful people and I, I couldn't be happier with how it's gone yes yeah uh, astomatic all that so I got a little bassy today but that's okay we're fine all right <laughs> yeah if we celebrate with Maria Hill baseball I can't be mad today snash 108 thank you for the prime sub very kind I do really appreciate the prime subs those are very very nice of you guys because you do get one for free if you do have an Amazon Prime membership um, Ollie, thank you for the resub as well. I also have the coffee up here. This is an account where you can uh, be a member, get certain perks like early access to videos, uh, priority on viewers, ch viewer challenges, etc. And uh, coffee doesn't make a cut. So I appreciate the subs. I also appreciate the coffee memberships. Very kind of you. Helps me keep the channel going and everything I do here. So very, very nice of you guys. Um, all right, we have some giveaways to do. Um, right now, what's going to happen is um, I am going to give away. Oh, by the way, this is. Um, uh, very, very, uh, lucky that we have some awesome members in the Discord. So, C. Cro uh, Crockett, who's in the Discord, who gave away, who was able to get a whole bunch of Black Panther sets for people who requested them, and Thrones Favor promo, I think it had somebody back out. So, I'm going to be giving away, uh, one Black Panther expansion and a Thrones Favor promo, as well as a second Thrones Favor promo, uh, courtesy of uh, C. Crockett was able to get those from him, so I can give those away. Thank you so much. If you'd like to enter for that, we'll do that at the end of the giveaways. I'm going to see if this works. All you got to do is type in this. I don't know if it's going to work. Let's see. Okay. Type in exclamation Wakanda. Ollie, I did not get your scores. I did not get your scores, and I've closed the sheet already, unfortunately. And, um, all right. Yep. All right. So if you have typed in Excavation Wakanda, you're entered to win the uh, promo or the Black Panther expansion and the promo um, when I roll those. If you're not a U.S. member or U.S. member, U.S. resident, um, I cannot send you the uh, either things. We cannot get those to you. So make sure that you are a U.S. resident if you're entering those. All right. While you guys are typing in Excavation Wakanda to enter that, let me go ahead and uh, run the giveaways for what else we're giving away here. So if you if you win and you're not a U.S. resident, uh, well, you know what? I'll I'll do this because it's easier. If you're not a U.S. resident and you win the expansion, I can't send that. But if you win the promo, I can probably send that. So if you win, let me know and then we'll figure that out. We'll do the we'll do the promo first and the expansion. But um, here we go. I'm going to go ahead and open this up. We have some other things to give away. Thanks to some awesome community members who are giving these things away, and I'm facilitating here. So, M. Wolfpack is giving away... What's interesting is he's giving away henchmen. These are the two henchmen from Dimensions, or previously Marvel 3D, right? <laughs> Evil Evil, thank you so much. Um, we're, uh, so these are the two henchmen. These are Circus of Crime and the Spider Slayers. And these are all the people who entered on the Discord. So let's go ahead and see who wins this one. For the henchman. Please DM me if you win this one for the henchman. Here we go. Three, two, one, and spin. Who's it going to be? And looks like it's going to be... PSP Blink has won the henchman. So please DM me in the Discord. All right. There's that first giveaway. Next giveaway is going to be, if I can open this, here we go. The Multiple Man promo. This one and the next one are from Ant Dude. So thank you, Ant Dude, for 
giving these away as well. Here we go. Make sure to type an exclamation Wakanda if you want to be entered to win the Black Panther expansion and Thor's Hero promo or just the promo. This is the uh, multiple man. These ones were on the Discord. The the uh, If you were in the giveaway channel, also in General Legendary, I posted about them. Um, the Black Panther ones I'm giving away right now on, on Twitch. So rewarding some people who are on Discord a lot. But then I'm going to give away the other thing here on Twitch. All right, this is the multiple man promo that went out uh, if you ordered a certain amount from uh, Upper Deck. Let's see who gets this one. Here we go. Who's going to get the multiple man promo? Is it going to cross the line? Oh, it did. Dormat. Dormat has won the multiple man promo. And again, this is for the uh, two year anniversary of the channel. So I'm very happy that you guys have been able to help me give these away. So Dormat messaged me about that, and then uh, I'll message you after the stream if you don't get to me. And then finally, for the wheel, we have an Iron Man promo, the latest Upper Deck Order promo, where if you order a certain amount from them, you get this cool re replacement for the uh, rare Iron Man in the core set. I, lo I don't have this one. Let's see who gets it. Here we go. Rolling. This is very exciting. I love the drum roll. And this one is going to Astigmatic Oracle has won the Iron Man promo. Astigmatic has won the Iron Man promo from Ant Dude. So again, message me. We'll get that sorted out after the stream. These have gotten tense for these giveaways. All right, that is it for the wheel giveaways. Now it is time to give away. You know what? I'm just going to do this for a visual aid. Here's my Black Panther box. This is not the one you're getting. You're getting a sealed one. With a Throne Saver promo. I don't have the Throne Saver promo yet anyway. So let's go ahead and do this. Alright, we have a bunch of people entering. Entered. Alright, if you type in Exclamation Wakanda, you are entered to win. We're going to do the promo first. And then we're going to do the promo and the Black Panther expansion. So, um, I will. Uh, the promo can be shipped anywhere in the world. The expansion has got to stay within the US. So if you win this first one and you're not in the US, that's fine. And it's not going to have a fancy wheel. I'm just going to roll it in the chat right now. All right. going to go ahead and click this. The. Well, thank you guys for being such awesome supporters of the channel and being engaging with. You know, you know what? Every time I play these games, they're solo games. But having you guys here in chat, I remember the very first games I played streaming this. It was a little tricky because there was only a couple people in chat. And so um, the engagement was, you know, what you expect for a starting channel. But it's so much fun to have you guys here because it just makes the game... I can play solo, but also it feels like I'm with a, in a room full of awesome folks. And it makes me have that uh, social interaction too. And I like that a lot. It's cool. And dude, I'll, I'll fill you in after. Um, it's all recorded here. Um, okay. So here we go. Rolling for the Black Panther uh, Throne Saber promo by itself. That is going to... Remington Chase. Remington Chase has won the Black Panther promo. So go ahead and uh, message me on Discord, preferably, when we'll get that all sorted out. And then now I'm going to roll for the Black Panther expansion and promo. If you win this and you're not a U.S. resident, let me know and I'll re-roll. But here we go. The last giveaway of the day. And please stick around after the giveaways because we're going to be playing a new randomized game and it's going to be a lot of fun to have you guys here. Here we go. The final giveaway today. The Black Panther expansion and the Throne Saver promo. That is going to Fentar. Fentar has won. One of our campaign writers uh, has won the Black Panther expansion and the Black Panther promo. So, Fentar, please contact me. Thank you again, Crockett, for not just doing this, but getting all those expansions for all those people. And I'm going to do a post about that later. But uh, just a token of my appreciation for the people who were giving stuff away and for all you guys here. So, thank you so much. All right. That is it. I hope you stick around. And we finished a hype train during that whole thing. It was just nuts. Yes, you can do that, Ollie. I'm sorry about the submission, but you can, I can definitely add them at the bottom. We'll see how you, how you did. Speaking of scores, let me go ahead and go over that right now. If you don't know what the Randomizer League is, each week, every game I play on Thursday, I randomize, I play, and then I submit it as a league. And you can play the exact same setup, compete for the best score, and then the following week, like today, I'm going to be showing off the scores, and we'll see how you guys did. What do you think the win rate and the difficulty was for this week? This was a very popular week. A lot of fours and fives. So, um, I think it'll be pretty high. What about the, diffic what about the difficulty? How many people do you think won? Thank you for the anniversary uh, message. I do appreciate that. 
All right, here we go. I expect a 90% win rate. Yeah, you're probably right. I mean, I know what it is, but <laughs> I'm just going to talk like I don't. It's part of, part of, you know, part of the presentation here. Okay, we got to 4.5, 90% win, 80%, 85% win. Let's take a look. Let's pop that open. Hopefully, I did this correctly. All right. Uh, week 73, the Sentry drains mutant powers to dot, dot, dot. And those of you who played know what the unveiled scheme was. It was an 88% win rate. Dormat, you got closest, I think, without going over. Price is right rules. 87%. Easy. The fun level was 4.2. It was 4.4, 4.5 there for a while. A couple folks entered with not with a not so great enjoyment level, which is fine. It's however you liked it. But it's still pretty darn good. Gives it an awesome rating. Uh, so, more. I'm about to read yours. Here we go. Let's take a look at the bottom uh, scores here. All right. Here we go. So I wanted to read the quote by Moira Reborn here. <laughs> yeah, see, exactly. Uh, Wolverine Shadow Start with a slight assist from Nomura made some huge plays. Warpath Rick Jones made a surprising good team as well. First win in the league so far. Very good. All right, let's keep going. Let's go to the uh, bottom, uh, bottom or top. It's a top 10, right? Here we go. A was a, a 1 for us. B was a 5. Gotcha. Oh, you would have brought it down. Well, you, actually, that would have evened out. <laughs> All right. Rolling Meeple, 10th place. Fantastic team. Shadowstar and Wolverine with the help from Nomura and Warpath. Let player 1 shatter the Mastermind twice and hit twice. Shared a photo of Final Hand on the Randomizer channel. I watched them play this. I had a lot of fun watching them play this. If you haven't checked out their channel, uh, the Rolling Meeple, they do stream the Randomizer games as well as their campaign games for Legendary. I highly recommend you check them out. Um, I helped them make some uh, graphic updates to their uh, to their uh, to the display, and I think it looks really good. Um, all right, let's move down. Uh, ninth place, Montax. Eighth place, Baby Breloom. Seventh place goes to Barrett. Sixth place goes to Adrian Miller. Fifth place is Doormat. Here we go to the top four. Oh yeah, it was a tie between Off the Cuff and Hate PhD there for uh, 12th place. All right, fourth place is Red John with uh, 48.5. By the way, why can't I see the the headers. I might have messed that up, but I'll tell you what they are anyway. Fourth place goes to Red John, 48.5 total rank points. Third place is Snash108 with 52 total rank points. Wolverine and Rick Jones made a great team. Then again, so do Warpath and Wolverine. Because of that, it was difficult for me to build two distinct decks, but in the end, settled with a card reveals on the left and draws on the right when the right uh, foot... Nope, that's not what it probably not, uh, what it means. When the right... Uh, when the right got the rares for both Rick and Wolvie, I think that's what it means. It was game over for the Mighty Sentry, yes. Sentry was, you know, he's not the toughest mastermind, but uh, shattering him definitely feels good to do. Okay, second place goes to the team of Blushing Aether and Silver Fox, with 53 total rank points, who got first in everything except for points per turn. And first place here goes to Avatarish, with uh, 54 total rank points, 52, 53, 54 for the top three. Very close uh, in the top three games there. Who um, second place in turns one turn more than Blushing Aether Silver Fox, but still got him that first place. So well done there. Let's move on up to setup A. Exposing the there we go. All right, so everybody that's there, well done everybody. Going to Montax at tenth place. Was, I think it was a tie. Yeah, tenth place between Dino Mike and Montax for tenth place. Montax says really enjoyed combos between Electra and Tigra with a KGB training from Winter Soldier. Unfortunately, I was at a disadvantage because of my special sidekicks and officers are in a broken down vehicle. I'm I still had fun. Um, I'm sorry that happened to you on the way back from Gen Con, but I hope it's all sorted out now. So let's keep going. Ninth place, Snash108 says, If it weren't for Mantis and Electra, I would have lost the unveiled scheme so badly. And that's kind of a spoiler to what it is. If you still want to play, I won't say exactly what it is unless somebody else does here, but uh, maybe they do. Uh, definitely happened to me in my game, Snash. Uh, eighth place, Red John, 36.5 points. Seventh place, Caprivi, 37.5 points. Sixth place, Ashy, 39.5 points. Fourth place goes to Baby Breloom with 41.5 points. Um, third place goes to... Four, also tied with fourth place goes to Adrian Miller, so I should, I should fix that. So Adrian and Breloom are also are technically third place for the packs, so uh, that should be bronze as well. Third place technically was myself at 44 points. I did pretty well the last couple of weeks. Uh, second place goes to Mr. Giraffe, 49.5 total rank points. I had an Electra Mantis hand, which worked very well with the unveiled scheme and a Winter Soldier deck. I was able to win because when the scheme unveiled, it happened to be on a turn. I had 10 recruit and her rare was investigated. Uh, for so picking her rare, I could recruit it and put it on top of my deck and drew it the same turn. Shadow of the Mastermind for the final blow was an epic finish. That is a pretty epic finish, totally. Um, sorry, Drufus Gow, I did those uh, at the beginning. And then first place, I love the comments, and I, this new layout lets you read them all. 
Uh, people are used to it. First place goes to, I think, is this their first place? First first place win? The team of, again, Blushing Ether and Silver Fox, who beat this thing in a whopping 23 turns. I'm getting, I'm guessing, since I didn't leave a comment, there was some shattering involved with 51.5 total rank points. So just to confirm, Blushing Ether and Silver Fox, then Mr. Giraffe, and then the, then uh, Adrian and maybe Breloom each get one pack each for being in technically third place, because I don't count. So well done there. I'll upload those at the end of this whole thing. That was a lot of fun, this setup. I'm glad you guys enjoyed it, but um, I don't know how lucky we're going to be this week with our setup. Do you think we're going to get... Uh, <laughs> we're going to get an easy one again this week? A fun one? Or is it going to be, you know, more like something I don't want to say because I'm, I'll will it into existence? Who's going to show up today? What do you think? What's going to happen? Let me know. I'll let you guys will it into existence. I will not take responsibility for that. I'd love to see some Doctor Strange. Black Panther won't be added until the uh, beginning of next month. So we'll have to wait for that. But there's Mar Marvel Studios Guardians of the Galaxy, Doctor Strange, of course, as well as Messiah Complex and Annihilation are all in here. So all the original 2021 releases are in the Randomizer League. All right. Ego would be fun. I can use my zoom out cam. <laughs> uh, by the way, I don't mention that that often. But if you use the Wheel of Fate randomizer, number one, paying the dollar to unlock the features is totally worth it. Number two, if you buy him a whiskey, that'll make him very happy and he'll keep doing updates. And uh, I think you should, I think you should do it. Uh, okay, let's pop into the actual randomizer. Make sure everything is selected. Black Panther is disabled right now. Okay, there we go. All right, we got uh, Ego, Wolverine, gotta be Maria, says off the cuff, who... <laughs> All right, X-23. Um, Ego would be fun if we got Ego. Everybody wants to see Ego. Uh, we'll see if you guys can uh, make it happen. You can spirit bomb this thing into happening. If we're kiss, that'll never happen. Okay. Let's randomize. Let's play a game. That's what we're here to do. Again, one more time for the last time I'll mention the stream. I appreciate you all so much. Thank you for supporting this channel for the two years that I've been doing it. Here's to many more with many more legendary releases. Uh, imaginary cheers with my cup of tea that's next to me because I desperately need it right now. All right. Let's go. Starting the splits. Here we go. Here we go. Generate setup in three, two, one. Ooh. I don't get to know what the Dark Alliance guy is yet. We'll find out later. So Thunderbolt Ross is Dark Alliance. Ooh, it could be anybody. I don't know who it's going to be yet. Oh, that makes me nervous. All right, let me go ahead and get the cards. Oh, predictions. Let me pop that open for you guys. I'm going to waste some time. Okay, predictions are on. How do you think this is going to go? Let's go see. I lost to him once already. If I recall... Oh, thank you for the water, Red John. If I recall correctly, I don't think we've gotten Dark Alliance yet. Where's Dark Alliance? That's E. Did I put in the back of this? Watch me not be able to find... Oh, there it is at the end. Yeah, okay. Very interesting. Hey, the Circus of Crime. We just gave some of those away. Code red. Registration Act. No, um, so Marcus, it's not like a veiled unveiled scheme. We're just gonna unveil it for this for the uh, stream, and then you'll know what it is. It doesn't really change how you play that much. So when it happens, we'll learn it all together, just for fun. Okay. I know. Isn't it perfect, hey PhD? All right. Um, there they are, and let's get the hero deck. Interesting. Amadeus, Nova, Archon, Karma, and Kingpin. Odd. Um, I think I'll tell you what tactic it has, yeah. Whatever one I get is the one you're going to get. Alright, champions. There's Kingpin. I've been reading a lot of the Sam Alexander Nova in the comics lately, so I'm excited to use him. And then we got Archon and Karma. Okay. Uh, where is he? I'm gonna 
affiliated. Arma. There we go. Bam. Okay. And the second mastermind is later. I don't know who it is yet. Let's go ahead and place everything. Yeah, I hope that the secret wars are going to be available for folks for the, you know, general availability and also the uh, sidekicks are important. So let's see. Who do you think the second mastermind is going to be? I'm kind of terrified. It, that, it could be Ego. If Ego comes in, he does his thing. <laughs> he starts destroying. No, he does, starts making spaces. It's weird. I don't know. <laughs> what if Ego is the second mastermind? <laughs> Mysterio would be a pain. Uh, for this reason. Alright, oh, I forgot what I was doing for a second. Alright, five strikes. One, two, three, four. King, hey, Kingpin would be great. <laughs> That's okay. I was about to say Wicked Pepper, but I mean, I mean, a tournament champion Wicked Pepper wants me to lose. I will do my best to make that not happen. Um, and uh, we've got uh, eight twists. Three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Yeah, Secret Wars has so many cool characters to learn about. Two bystanders. And let's go. Hello, Piranha. Piranha's here. You have to remember, remind me to cut the deck. I don't usually do it unless you're here. Usually. Sometimes I remember. One, two, three, four. <laughs> yeah, so I have. if you have noticed, I haven't rolled packs yet. Black Panther is still an option. So for anybody who won the league or anybody who's redeeming channel points today, you can still get Black Panther packs. Absolutely. I'll probably roll packs later today and get that finally done. So get those in. Hey, Avatar, you won Setup B this week. Well done. If you didn't see. All right. You did? Yeah. Well done. I'll post those after the stream, of course. I, f I figured. Okay. All right. I'm, I'm, I'm kind of terrified to look at the predictions because nobody knows what the uh, second mastermind is yet. That happens before predictions get locked in. All right. Villain deck is done. Hero deck time. Yeah, you can still get Black Panther packs up to today. I Up until I roll the packs, which should be today. Me being uh, sick earlier in the week kind of messed up my timeline, but should be fine now. <laughs> no worries. Two, three, four, five. A lot of shuffling. If anybody hasn't seen, by the way, I have started developing a uh, legendary classic mode based on a couple of things like... Um... That's a good question. So, MVL, I'm pretty sure that this randomizer does not consider the exclusions when adding extra cards. I think it uh, ignores those, and I'm pretty sure I tested that before. So, the second mastermind should be from any, ignoring my exclusions. So, we'll see who it is. It should be from any of them. Which means if it's a Black Panther one, I have to re-roll. But, uh, we'll see. I think it still I think it still considers expansions, but not exclusions for Mastermind. If it is Maria Hill, she'll only have one tactic. At first. <laughs> so we'll see. If I can take down Thunderbolt Ross before the first twist happens, then I don't have to have a second Mastermind at all. But that's not going to happen, is it? Alright, Hero Deck is shuffled. Okay, uh, starting hands, let's go. Shield on the left, Hydra on the right, as we do. If. If is good. Oh, what was I talking about? Yes, we're doing classic mode. Uh, the one that... Oh, let me start over. I'm working on a legendary classic mode. It's kind of based... Yeah, there's the helicopters to deal with. Can't pierce those helicopters, no piercing energy. Um, the classic mode is kind of based on a couple things. It's based on a classic mode from Smash Brothers, and it's also based on Slay the Spire a little bit. I'm going to cut the deck because uh, Piranha's here, so we'll see. All right, additional scheme set up. I'll do that later when I find out who the Mastermind is. And cool, 723. That's pretty darn good. 
It is a pretty human setup. Look at that. All right. Fun facts from Ollie. First appearance of the Mastermind and Scheme. Second appearance of Kingpin, Archon, Superhuman Registration, Act, Circus of Crime. Third appearance of Karma, Nova, Code Red. Fourth appearance of Amadeus Cho. If you're interested in trying out the classic mode, I'm constantly making updates to it. Um, there's a thread for it in general. So general, if you go to General Legendary and you click the icon for threads, you can find it there. And uh, I can send you a test copy. We have a few, few people who've played it. Mr. Giraffe is the only person who has finished it. And he said it was 10 out of 10. He had a lot of fun. So uh, check it out. I will help facilitate that after the stream. All right. The setup should be uploaded. I'll go back to that at the end when we have when we have to look at the uh, mastermind. Okay. Oh, this is a lot. I'm having a blast though already. That might change. Okay. All right. Cutting the deck for Piranha. Here we go. Cutting the villain deck right here. There you go. Cutting the hero deck as well. So we'll see if that put a twist on top. That'll be funny. All right. Let's do our overview. And then we'll end the predictions. And then we'll play a game of Legendary. How does that sound? If it's another Hulk, that's going to be something. All right. So, we've got General Thunderbolt Ross, who is a transforming mastermind from World War Hulk. Let's go ahead and find out what he's all about again. So, General Thunderbolt Ross is a start of a game. Stack eight bystanders next to General Ross as helicopter villains with two attack. You can fight them to rescue them as bystanders. You can't fight General Ross while he has any helicopters. There's eight bystanders right there. Always these code red. Master Strike. General Ross transforms and cross-dimensional Hulk Rampage, which means anybody who doesn't have a Hulk card, who has a Hulk hero or a Hulk card in their victory pile, gets a wound. So, I'm going to figure out what I'm keeping track of here. And then he transforms. He transforms into uh, Red Hulk, who's got Wounded Fury. You can't fight helicopters. They don't stop you from fighting Red Hulk. Master Strike. Red Hulk transforms. Then stack a random bystander from each player's victory pile next to this as a helicopter. Each player who didn't have a bystander gains a wound instead. Such wounds, much rampage, is 100% correct. And we have, I can't believe this, we have 45 viewers right now, and that is the most viewers you've ever had. So thank you so much. That is blowing my mind. Um, let's keep going. Oh, man. Okay. Hello, everybody. Come join the Discord. I'm happy to say hi to all of you. Dark Alliance, set up eight twists. Twist one, add a random second mastermind to the game with one mastermind tactic. Twist two to four, if the second mastermind is still in play, it gains another mastermind tactic. Twist five to six, each mastermind captures a bystander. And twist seven, evil wins. So we'll see how soon that first twist happens. It could be right away, as tends to happen on these streams, but I really do not know. Thank you, Ollie, for that. Ollie is my support sometimes, and I really do appreciate it. Uh, okay. Let's place Thunderbolt Ross down there. What do I have to keep track of? I have uh, eight twists. That's correct. Um, I won't keep track of helicopters on the tracker. I'm just going to go ahead and put a big old eight on the stack of helicopters right here so you know how many there are. Um, they each cost two to fight. We do have Amadeus Cho in the setup. Not totally awesome Hulk, but uh, Amadeus Cho. Yeah, <laughs> that would be funny. If we, you don't find out who it is. And then I can keep it a secret for you guys, but I'm probably going to find out this game. Um, okay, Ross Tactics over here. Let's go ahead and take a look at the predictions. All right. Looks like it's 18 people say win, 99 people say lose. 75% of the points towards the win, 25% of the points towards the lose. It's 75-25. So the winners will, the losers, nope, the people who said, if I'm the loser, the people who said lose are going to get a bigger payout here. Ending the submissions right now. And there are, Wow. Wow, there are almost 100,000 points on this. It's 90,000 points and change. That is the most points ever, so we'll see how this goes. Oh, man. Okay. No pressure or anything. Let's see. Fantastic matter. That's not a bad bet, but I'm going to do my best here. All right, I closed the predictions. Let's go ahead and fill out the HQ. We're starting with Kingpin. Kingpin's uncommon. Amadeus Cho's uncommon. Nova's common. Karma's common. One of her commons. And then another Cho common. Piranha, that was half of you. <laughs> That's crazy. Um, okay, let's see how this goes. Starting with her number one. I am terrified. Let's do it. 
Dark Alliance is no frills. It's just throw the second mastermind in, give them tactics, and that's that. Turn one, do we have our first, our turn one scheme twist? We don't. Again, Piranha in, in with the deck cutting, helping this. Circus of Crime is first. Fight, reveal the top card of your deck if it costs zero. KO it, otherwise draw it. E uh, good to take out early, although it does take out troopers when I may not want to. I can't fight them right now. All right, things are already having, things are already uh, not typical. So let's look at what I can get. Uh, we've got uh, Space Cop Nova for two. It has versatile one and then champions rescue a bystander. So uh, ob obviously Cho and Nova will be great to take together. We've also got Karma, Temporary Possession, which costs four. Mori, I think you're right, and that warms my heart a bit, so thank you. All right, uh, two plus attack, guess a color, then reveal the top card of the hero deck and put it back on the top or bottom of that deck. If you guessed right, you get plus two attack. This is cool, but without top of deck knowledge, it can fail a lot, especially with all the different colors we have in this setup. Are you playing it right now, Ashy? You don't even know who the second mastermind is. <laughs> okay. I guess you're going to have to wait until I find out if it's going to be a while. And then we got Extrapolate. One Recruit, Outwit, Draw a Card, a cost of two. So I'm thinking I want to take Space Cop and Extrapolate. Although that's going to not let me Outwit yet. Because I don't really know what Karma's going to do. Um, and I can refresh the HU a couple of times, make it better for the right-hand side. Right-hand side's got... Um, oh, you got the Twist already. All right. Four recruit in the right. All right, I'm going to go with my gut here and start with the champion side. Let's start by taking Extrapolate for two, and then we'll see what happens. And another one. Uh, okay, I'll hold off on Space Cop. I'll take the other Extrapolate. I am going to have to outwit. <laughs> it's going to be me, Hate PhD, because I'm the one uh, who's going to put the, uh, <laughs> put the uh, survey up to enter. So Ashy, uh, so Ashy can't enter until I set that up. So it's going to be me. All right. So I could throw it if you want. All right. Turn two. Okay. Iron Spider. Oh, I hate Iron Spider right now. Yeah, I will. All right. Ambush. Fortify your deck. This is terrible to come, come up early. Well, Iron Spider... Fortifies a player's deck. That player draws one fewer card at the end of their turn. A turn two Iron Spider is awful. Fight. Reveal the top card of the villain deck. If that card is worth two VP or less, Iron Spider fortifies the deck of the player on your left. Oh, man. Okay. Well, this is what happens. Goes to the right-hand side. At least I can fight him this turn. Um, but hopefully he goes away. We'll see. Well, you know what? I'm going to have him fortify. I will immediately hit him right now because I might as well. I can't do anything else with that two attack. We'll see if I get lucky. <laughs> Burning, that's that that just that hurt me physically. All right, so I'm he's fortifying the right hand side. Uh, yes, Henshin does move over. You're right. Um, let's do it. I'm declaring the attack. I hit Iron Spider. Reveal the top card of the villain deck. It is worth two VP or less. It's a bystander, and so he goes and fortifies left hand side. So that's fun. Let's play the rest. I got a bystander coming next, too. So, I guess I'll take Karma over here. So, uh, Kingpin's going to probably get some new recruits. Not really going to work well with Karma. If I can get a Kingpin engine going, that would be amazing, but I only see the one. I'm going to take her, because she's shown up. We'll see what else I can do with that. Nothing else is to attack. And there's Archon with his patrolling. Yeah, it's kind of a proto-prey, right? He's just kind of sitting around as an annoyance. Fortify your deck is kind of a prey, but he never finishes a prey, you know? Okay. Another four and two. Bystander comes in. Goes to Circus of Crime in the bank. I'm going to try hitting... Um, Yeah, I'm thinking Archon might work too. Karma Khan, I love the name. All right, two attack. Nothing to fight. Let's go ahead and try to fight Iron Spider again. Okay, I'm going to hit him. Top card of the villain deck is all right four vp yellow jacket which is great so iron spider does not fortify my deck on the other side uh he goes away goodbye hey new empire welcome this is my two-year anniversary stream thank you for being here so a new empire sent me the original images or put them in the discord for black widow so give a big thanks to new empire for those 
I'm not forgetting the helicopters, but I also don't want Iron Spider nerfing my hands. But uh, yes, those also cost two to hit. Um, okay. We got Yellow Jacket coming in next. I got four recruit. Um, let's... Okay, I'm going to keep building the uh, champions thing I got. So I'm going to go with uh, Space Cop and Space Cop. Let's get a lot of bystanders. Yeah, it's super exciting. Thank you. And we'll get the other Space Cop. Just to dilute the deck, get all the... Dilute the deck for non with non-grays. And hopefully I can get enough recruit to get a Renegade Genius later. Um, but I need more costs. I might have to take an Officer up just to get a, a different cost so I can outwit. But we'll see. And, uh, yeah, next week is going to be Randomizer game number 90. So we're only 11 away from 100 Randomizer streams. And then I can give you my overall win rate, which you should be able to see in the, in the sheet anyway. But, uh, we'll see. All right. Yeah, the Black Widow set looks awesome. It's really cool that thanks to a new Empire and then a bunch of you guys, too, we know almost all the cards. We still don't 100% know who Mastermind 2 is. There's a big hint on the rule sheet, but we haven't seen anything about him yet, so uh, I look forward to finding that out. And uh, there should be some blogs coming up soon. Okay, Yellow Jacket, Size Changing Tech, Escape, Fortify the Hero deck. Well, it's Fortify whenever a hero in the HQ costs 7 or more. KO that hero. Time to hit a helicopter this turn, now that Iron Spider's out of the way. So we got two attack. Just to remind myself and everybody else, uh, helicopters are two attack villains. I can fight them to rescue them as bystanders, and I can't fight the mastermind while well, there's any helicopters there, so better start. So turning it down to seven, spending two attack to take out the first helicopter. It is Magic, who I gain as a hero, who has two attack and teleport, and is a ranged card. So she becomes a heroic bystander rescued, and have seven helicopters. Why was she in a helicopter? So if mastermind isn't too... If Mastermind 2 isn't from... It'll be a new Mastermind, Drufus. I'll randomize it from the available sets. Hey, Legends. Hello, hello, hello. Welcome to the party. All right, we got four recruit. I already took Karma over here. Should I take another Karma or uh, Archon? Let me see. So, Soul Rivalry, two attack, Covert. Choose a villain. You get plus one attack for each villain adjacent to it. I feel like the city is going to be pretty full because I'm focusing on helicopters. That might happen. We got All-Terrain Barbarian. Two recruit plus Wall Crawl, which means it can go to the top of my deck when I recruit it if I want. Patrol the sewers. If it's empty, you get plus one recruit. Um, I don't know where the helicopters are placed, because helicopters are villains. How many of villains are adjacent to the helicopters? I don't, I don't think there's any. <laughs> um, did he? Hold on. Hey, he did join the server. So if you're watching this right now, welcome, Rich. Enjoy spying on all of our activities. Um, I Karma's going to work better with Karma, but I need the Recruit so I can maybe get Kingpin too. So I'm going to go ahead and take Ultrain Barbarian instead. I don't have a 4 cost to take. Plus, I've got Covert here. Covert will be friendly. It's a party today. All right, there's a 3 cost Amadeus who can transform, which is great. Let's get all those helicopters out of there. New recruits are going to be great counters for helicopters because King, Kingpin can get a bunch. The new recruits go away, but uh, just two of them is enough to hit a helicopter. So we'll see. I've only had one Kingpin show up so far, and it's the same one that's still in the HQ. Um, Jate, the only info we have is that it's photographic. A solicit came out that there's going to be at least Doctor Strange and Black Panther hero sets. And I think Thanos and his Black Order were mentioned as uh, enemies. And it's coming after Black Widow, and that's all we know. Okay, moving on over. We are on turn numero five. <laughs> Cinco, for those of you who don't understand. All right. So I've got um, one bystander to rescue, six recruit if I want. So I can get Renegade Genius this turn, which is awesome. Mastermind is adjacent to bridge and copters next to mastermind. So copters are not adjacent to any villain. I'm guessing they're on the left-hand side, technically. And the Mastermind's on a villain, so I would say no. Alright, there it is. You guys ready to find out who this is? Here it is, Scheme Twist number one. Add a random second Mastermind to the game with one Mastermind tactic. Okay, moment of truth. I'm terrified. Here we go. No, I wish the Master Strikes happened before this, but they didn't. Alright, let's go ahead and uncover this, see who it is. 
You know, I could just live in blissful ignorance and never do this, and we could uh, we could be safe forever. Yeah, they're next to the Mastermind, but uh, the Karma card says for each villain adjacent to it. All right. Oh gosh, I, I I don't even I don't even know where the button is. All right, here we go. I'm gonna press it. Here we go in three, two, one. Are you kidding me? <laughs> That's just perfect. Oh man. Some of you I blame for this. Some of you I blame for this. Well, some of you who said I'm not gonna win, probably pretty happy right now. Oh man. Nothing to do but push forward, you guys. Let's do it. Oh my gosh. Yeah, she's exactly like Beetlejuice. All right. That is true. Piranha is right about that. We'll see if I can take her out. Uh, because there's going to be a fewer shield in the city. She only have. If I can take her out early, that'll be great. But uh, yeah, let me uh, upload this now with the new reveal. So, Maria is the ultimate copter. So, here we go. Uh, she has double shield clearance. You can't fight Maria Hill while there's any shield elite or officer officers in the city. <laughs> Always lead shield elite, except for right now, they're not here. Ha ha ha. Master Strike, two shield officers enter the city as three attack villains. When you fight them, gain them as heroes. Yeah, there's a silver lining. So, for the random tactic. Now, I'm going to tell you what the tactic is in the setup for this week so you know which one to use. So, I feel like I should look at it right now because you guys will know any objections to that so we can know what tactic she's got or maybe not because hold on how do i do this because she might get more tactics that don't have to be random how do i do this so i can look at the first tactic but then when the second one comes we can look at that and then we can shuffle them both up and third same thing fourth same thing Well, the question is, random, all right, I'm hearing keep it random all the way for everybody. I'm good with that. We'll keep it random all the way for everybody. So I don't know what the tactic is, neither do you. So no reveals. All random all the time. You got it. All right, tactics are off to the side. No idea what they are. Okay, yeah, You're, you guys are all correct. So let's do this. I'm just going to pop her up here. It's fine. We know what she does. Well, let's try to make the most of this turn because, uh... I gotta keep going. Alright, let's go. Space Cop. Uh, versatile 1. I'm gonna get these both as Recruit. I could get them both as Attack and take out a Helicopter, but I really want Renegade Genius. Uh... It gives me one Attack for each different cost of hero you have. Well, it's not gonna be that great. I only have zeros and twos. This is a third cost. And chance, if I have this, I'm going to get at least three attack, usually. Um, and I can draw a card if I do outwit. Plus, I can move the HQ along. Plus, I have a champion to trigger more uh, space cop. So, I'm going to do it. Um, the transform is good. I can show you that one, too. So, we got Gamma Journey Nanites. Draw a card. If you drew two cards this turn, he transforms into a uh, like, totally smart Hulk. Outwit, you get plus two attack. That's a good one. I want to take that too, but while I have six recruit, I'm going to go ahead and take the uh, uncommon as well. So we'll go versatile one space cop as a recruit. We'll play the second space cop for another recruit, but I activate the uh, trigger, rescue a bystander. It is a standard bystander, which is rescued in my victory pile, and then I'll play all four. We got six recruit. Let's take Renegade Genius, move the HQ along right now. Get some more costs in there. And all right, we got. Holographic, proje holographic Projection Nova. Versatile 3 ranged. I'm hoping I see cheering crowds. How does the scheme you're doing add the second mastermind? How does the second mastermind work? You add them as a second mastermind out during the game. When a master strike happens, both their master strike effects happen. You can't win the game unless you take out all the masterminds. That's how it works. And I use the final blow rule. So I have to use the final blow or hit them after the tactics are gone. Each one. So I should actually update the uh, tracker here. 
You do pick the order. Uh, I should have to change it to seven right now. Because I have to do a total of seven Mastermind hits. It is pretty cool. If you come to my Chaos Mode streams, you'll see how that works. All right, turn six as I knock over the hero deck. Nope, can't let that happen. Keep it in the same order. Turn six gives me... Yeah, we'll see. We'll see how many twists come up. Uh, there's a Master Strike. Perfect timing, Master Strike. You wait till the next second Mastermind comes out. So now I get to pick which one happens first, but it's really not going to matter. Um, General Ross transforms, then cross-dimensional Hulk Rampage. Um, no Hulks anywhere. I'm pretty sure I didn't get any yet. Um, nah, totally didn't. So we have a transform, and then we have two wounds go out. One on each side. All right, let's do his transform into Red Hulk now. Okay, uh, he's got Wounded Fury, plus one attack for each wound in my discard pile. I can't fight helicopters, and I can't... Uh, they don't prevent me from fighting Red Hulk. So much for those helicopters. Uh, now i got to do the, uh, the Rampage, so nobody's got any Hulks. So Actually, no, that's not true. I do have... I can, if I transform into Hulk, I could have gotten it, but uh, I don't have any right now. So two wounds go out. Looks like two standard wounds go out. And uh, we have to do Maria Hill's Master Strike now. Here we go. Two shield officers enter the city of three attack villains. When you fight them, gain them as heroes. Not the worst because I kind of want some shield officers. So they look like they're two standard ones. I don't want that bystander to escape, though. All right. And I can't fight helicopters anyway. So I've got three attack here. Let's see how karma works. See if I guess correctly. Yeah, it's already pretty fun. Uh, guess a color. What, what, what's, what should I guess? Tech is a good guess. So I'm going to go with tech. Top part of the hero deck is... Ooh, I had two colors. It could have been strength or covert. Uh, I didn't get either of them. All right. Put it back on the top or bottom. Do I want to leave all terrain? I'm going to leave all terrain on the top. Um, I don't get the bonus to attack, but I do have enough to take out a Maria Hill. Or the Circus of Crime. What? Probably I take out the Circus of Crime so I can prevent that bystander from getting out of there. Um, I got four recruit. And I can maybe KO a Gray as well. So let's take out the Circus. Fight and reveal the top card of your deck if it costs zero. KO it, otherwise draw it. I want it, though. Um, top, just the top card. Not the top two. Okay, top card of my deck is a zero cost. I have to KO it. Soldier is gone. Uh, thank you for that triple zero. Where did I put my... Oh, there it is. Okay. And, uh, yes. I get the bystander. And we take out the Circus of Crime. Four recruit. Um, I'm gonna go with the other Karma. Building on that Covert stuff. I do. Especially with my voice this way. And there's the card I reveal. So if you notice, I chose not to wall crawl all train barbarian when I got it last time. I wanted to flush some other stuff out first. I wouldn't phrase it like that, Dino, but yes, you do. Alright, here we go. Moving on, turn seven is another circus of crime. I'll pop into the city here. No bystanders for you. I don't outwit, so I don't draw a card. I've got one, two, three recruit, and we've got three attack. So let's hit. I wanted an officer for the different costs. So I'm going to go ahead and fight and gain a Maria Hill right now with my three. Yeah, enjoy those. That'll be fun. And then three recruit. I'll take Gamma Dreading Nanites, finally. Okay. I'm building up okay. On the left, especially. I need more KO power. I need to get that Circus of Crime to work. The problem is, it's not a guaranteed KO each time like some other uh, some other henchmen. So I may not be able to thin the deck as much as I want. So i got to focus on drawing cards to get around that. One, two, three, four, five, six. I'm glad you're enjoying your time. Like, you just started Legendary this week, right? Triple Zero, and now you own all the expansions. Or a lot of them, or most of them. That is a... That is a fast jump into the deep end of legendary hope you're having a good time turn eight is oh, another iron spider just when they thought it was gone he fortifies the right hand side's deck again um nerfs my card draws the end of my turn we'll see if i can take him out so there he is 
Um, I'm going to play Magic and the Soldier. Um, Secret Wars Volume 1 comes with the standard sidekicks. Civil War comes with the Pet Adventures sidekicks. And then Messiah Complex comes with the uh, X students sidekicks. Okay. So, what do I do here? Do I fight the Circus of Crime or do I try to fight the Iron Spider? If I don't take the Iron Spider out as soon as possible, I'm really going to suffer for it. So, I think I'm going to spend my two of my three to get that Iron Spider hopefully out of here. We'll see how many hits it takes to get him out. So, let's do it. Spending two attack. See if I'm lucky. Top card of the villain deck is worth two VP or less. This is worth no VP. A Master Strike. Great. Which is two VP or less. So, he does fortify the left hand side. Unfortunately for me, and also fortunately for me, um, I'm going to have the city full with with the Maria Hills next turn. I've got a four recruit. Um, okay, I'm going to take the all train Barbarian again. I need to move things along on the right for three. I'll wall crawl this one this time. I'll put it on top of the deck this time with wall crawl. And uh, there's Warlord of Open Spaces. He needs the city spaces to be empty. So there we go. One two, three. I got both of them. Alright, cool. And get some expensive stuff. That is exactly what he is. Triple zero. Four, five, six. I'm glad I didn't wall crawl this when I got these together that way. And magic is back. Alright. If I keep fighting this spider every turn, I won't have to nerf my hands, but uh, probably not going to do that because we have a master strike coming in. <laughs> So both things happen once again. Here we go. Red Hulk transforms and stack a random bystander from each player's victory upon this. So this is a helicopter. Each player who didn't have a bystander gains a wound instead. Good news is each side has a bystander. Bad news is now there's nine helicopters. So it doesn't say to shuffle the bystanders. I always forget what to do here. I have the two bystanders. Should I shuffle the helicopter stack or not? I'll let you, let, uh, let you tell me what to do here. But nine helicopters there. And he's going to transform back into... Thunderbolt Ross, which is annoying. All right. He has so many helicopters. Now, now Marie Hill does her Master Strike as well. Here we go. Two more shield officers enter the city. Just what I needed. Hey, we got a Fitzsimmons. So we got one, two, three Fitzsimmons and a standard. I feel like I should shuffle them in. Um, there we go. So um, I'll shuffle them when I take one next. Uh, okay, got the Iron Spider over here, got a full city, got nine helicopters. This is not a great place to be. I still don't outwit either. So let me go ahead and play Extrapolate. Uh, for one recruit, let's play my other recruit, two, three, four. I've got one attack. Then I have Space Cop. Now I can get Recruit, make this five, and get Holographic Projection. I think the thing is, anytime you have a stack that's not one card it's face down that you can take from not counting like discard piles and such you know you do the same with um bystanders that are uh hidden witnesses etc but not bystanders behind them i don't know there's rules for that somewhere so um i feel like this came up on a previous game so if i take attack i can hit a helicopter if i take recruit i can get holographic projection i don't have a lot of I don't have a lot of ranged over here, though, so let me let me decide. So, Holograph Projection, 2 attack, range versus health 3, which is good. But, uh... Do not have any other range cards, I don't think. I've also got Warlord of Open Spaces, but that doesn't really... mesh with what else I'm doing here. I, I, actually... I don't know. It is 3 attack. It's a 5 cost. I want a 5 cost for the Outwit. Chances are I might get some more ranged in there, and I can draw a lot of cards to maybe get the trigger. So I'm going to still go with Holographic Projection. We're going to play off... Uh... Hold on. I have... I think Nova's better. All right, I'm going to play this Nova. I'm going to get one Recruit with Versatile. And, I'm... and I get to rescue a Bystander, by the way, because I played uh, Omnius Joe. Let's see if this Bystander helps me. It is the Photographer, who's going to give me some bonus VP at the end of the game for each rare that I have. Doesn't matter if I lose, though. And then I will uh, recruit Holographic Projection for 5. And not fight anything. So I'm probably going to have my first escape. And by the way, look at Yellow Jacket's escape effect. Escape, fortify the hero deck. Well, it's fortify whenever a hero in the issue costs 7 or more KO that hero. So we got Maria Hill. We're going to have KO'd rares. 
You, it's uh, it's my greatest hits here. Although we didn't have a scheme twist first turn, so. And I couldn't even hit the uh, Iron Spider that way, so I draw one fewer card because I chose to recruit instead. So here we go. Five cards. Three, four, five. All of a sudden, this game has turned away from my favor. All right, do we have that fortification? Uh, we actually don't. But the bad news is, Maria Hill's here. We can look at her for a second, but we really gotta look at the scheme. If the second mastermind is still in play, it gains another mastermind tactic. So she's got two tactics right now. I'll shuffle that into the pile. And hey, Rainer, thank you for the raid. Thank you very much. All right, let me increase the uh, mastermind counter. <laughs> Not exactly a mixtape. So I've got to hit Masterminds eight times now. Okay. Hey, that was very kind of you. Thank you so much for the raid. All right, let's see what I've got. So the city is super full. So uh, this is not going to do anything unless I take out the Marie Hill first. So as far as attack, let me try using Karma first. So let's do this. Two attack. I'm going to guess... Should I double or nothing? Should I go covert this, or should I do tech again? Or should I do covert this time? I'm gonna say covert this time. It's probably gonna be tech. Watch it be tech. Nope, it was ranged. I wasn't gonna guess that. So, um, also, what do I want to do with this one? Spectrum. This is good for the left hand side. It's a range for uh, Nova. It lets me draw a card with Spectrum. It's a three cost. I'm gonna save this on top for the left hand side. Um, I get two attack only though. I'll play Magic for the two more attack. And uh, so what am I going to hit? I get to hit two helicopters, but I really don't want Yellow Jacket to escape. So I should probably hit something. I prefer to get Fitzsimmons on the left-hand side. So I'm going to actually fight. But if I fight the shield officer, I can get six recruit from all trained barbarian. And I can get uh, important illegal weapons. But do I really want... Actually, no, I have one, two, three, four, five recruit. I can get that without doing that. So I don't have to, uh, I don't have to, uh, get the Maria help. I don't even know if I want that card, though, but I'm gonna get five recruit. Okay. I'm gonna hit the Circus of Crime for one more KO chance or a draw chance. And top card of my deck is a, another soldier. Again, would have preferred an agent or uh, operative, but I'll take it. Okay, so now the sewers aren't empty. That's fine. Uh, two, four, five recruit. Now let me make a decision here. Um, three attack, one plus attack for each new recruit you play this turn. Great if you have more kingpin, but I'm not seeing a lot of them. We've also got uh, Warlord of Open Spaces. Patrol two adjacent city spaces. If they're empty, get plus one attack. I feel like I'm going to get more success with Kingpin later when I see more Kingpin. Because I don't imagine, especially with Maria Hill here, the city going to be that empty that often. So I'm going to go with important legal weapons and hope for more Kingpins. Because I can't take new recruits. This is a hero setup. And there's that card we saw. Okay. One, two, three, four, five, six. Move it over. I left Iron Spider there. Because I needed to clear the city. And I can't hit anything this turn either. With my five cards. Scheme twist. More Maria tactics. So now another tactic. It's now out of nine. This is getting more and more out of reach. If I can get a really powerful hand, I can still do this, but uh, we'll see. I gotta hit the Masterminds nine times combined now. And uh, yes, I do outwit 0, 2, and 3. So we'll see if I can get a lucky draw. Um, one recruit. Let's see what I get. Nothing to wall crawl first. Just double checking. Okay, I get an agent. <laughs> still not enough attack. But also, the city didn't fill up a little bit. So I've got five recruit, though. One, two, three, four, five. I said that weird, but yeah, one, two, three, four, five. Don't feel like it's worth resting the wound away. Uh, I really want Quiver of Thunderbolt. It's a very good card. 
So I'm thinking uh, Quiver Thunderbolts and a Sidekick. Or I could take Warlord. But I think Quiver is so good for this side. I'm going to do that. So we'll see what else comes up. Taking Quiver Thunderbolts for, uh, for three. Because I have a lot of different classes here. So Spectrum's going to happen. And then, ooh, another. I need the one that gives you new recruits. Not that one. All right, Sidekick time. Sidekick is a standard. And I only draw five cards again. If I'm getting enough cards that say draw a card, I can just leave Iron Spider here forever and not worry about it. All right. Let's see. I outwit so I can transform Gamage Ready Nanites this turn, which is great news, even with five cards. All right. Three attack to work with. Turn 12, Ms. Marvel shows up from the uh, Superhero Registration Act. Escape Fortified HQ space. Well, it's Fortified Heroes can't be gained from that space. I feel like, unfortunately, what's going to happen in this game is I'm going to be chasing the villain or the, the city so often I can't take care of the helicopters or the second mastermind. So we'll... All right. Let me see what I'm going to do here. Don't have the Covert Trigger, so I got three attack and four recruit. Um... What do I hit? Again, I do not want Yellow Jacket to escape, so I should probably still hit an officer. You know what? Even though it's not the side I prefer it on, I'm going to go ahead and take Fitzsimmons. It's very good. So let's go ahead and uh, take out and gain Fitzsimmons as an officer on the right-hand side. Right-hand side needs it. Uh, for attack, or for recruit, I'll take the other Karma. I'm really trying to make this work, aren't I? Can't ignore those helicopters forever, though. And at least I already took out a Iron Spider. Oh, I love them. That's great. Oh, uh, especially the actor for for Fitz. Is his name Ian DeCastiker? I forget how to pronounce it, but oh, so good. He was almost too good for that show, to be completely honest. And I loved the show. Five, six. Okay. Five cards, but it's an effective five cards. Turn third. The villain deck's feeling thinner already. All right. Red She Hulk shows up. Uh, Wounded Fury fight. Each player reveals a covert hero or gains a wound. Escape, same effect. I'll uh, let you know what their attack is at the moment if I decide to fight them. Okay, let's transform a card. Starting with Renegade Genius. You get one attack for each different cost of fear you have. I have two, zero, three, and six. That's four attack. And I outwit, so I draw a card. It's a trooper. And then I'll play Gamma Draining Nanites. Uh, you do, Ashy. Yes, that's part of the whole thing. So draw a card. I draw into the Shield Agent. Then if you drew two cards this turn, transform this into like Totally Smart Hulk, which I definitely have to do. And I get to do. So let's go ahead and do it. All right. There he is. And I'll play him right now. I have... Three to four different costs, so I get to play this. Outwit, two attack. Outwit, you get two plus attack. I'm at eight attack. Oh, I could hit Maria if there weren't any shield officers in the city. I have nine total attack. Ten total attack. So before I keep going, let me see. What's my best strat? Probably to hit... If I hit Yellow Jacket, I have one tech. So he's actually five to hit right now. Thanks to size changing tech. So I could take him out and Ms. Marvel at the same time with what I've got. Um, I could also hit Maria Hill if I go 3, 6. I wouldn't have enough this turn. Um, I could take out 5 helicopters, which is good. I have to win by hitting the Mastermind. So Maybe I hit Yellow Jacket, and then I take out 2 helicopters, but then I'm going to have a leftover attack. I could do versatile attack for one more attack. I wouldn't. I, I would rather get this second quiver of thunderbolts, but maybe hitting three things is worth it. So if I did get eleven, I could do five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven. Well, the thing about Maria is I can't hit Maria while there's any shield in the city, and I have to discard uh, two shield cards to hit her. So I wouldn't be able to do that. I would need uh, seven, a uh, thirteen attack to do that. 
I can hit yellow. I definitely want to hit yellow jacket. There's no way I'm not hitting yellow jacket. So let me just do that first. I'm going down to five. And uh, take him out because I do not want him fortifying stuff. Okay, I got five left. Oh, maybe. I could hit both Marias if I play Space Cop as versatile. Or I could hit one Maria and one an Iron Spider once. A lot of choices in this turn. Gotcha. <laughs> Thank you. Welcome back. Okay. I should probably focus on clearing things. So I think I'm going to hit a Maria and then either Iron Spider or a Helicopter. Iron Spider could completely fail. And Iron Spider is not hurting me that much with all the cards I'm drawing. So I'm going to focus on the Helicopters instead of him. And maybe if I know what the top of the deck is, I don't know if there's any knowledge I can get through this setup. All right, I'm gonna I'm gonna go for one Maria Hill and one helicopter. Let's fight the helicopter first. See what bystander it is first. Because if it's a copycat, I'm gonna have to um you know fight that. So down to eight, hitting helicopter for two. Oh, it should be at three left. Helicopter is a standard bystander. Okay. There are now eight helicopters left, and let's hit this Maria and gain it for three. And now I can play Space Cop versus... Oh, let's play it because I have a bystander to rescue as well. Um, I'll play it as Recruit. I get a bystander. It is a standard bystander. Two more Recruit. Puts me up to three. And I can take the second uh, Quiver of Thunderbolts. And I think that was a pretty good move. Yeah, okay, so I have, I have the opportunity to get rares now. Now that Yellow Jacket's gone. But my hand size is still nerfed. So that's one... Four more. Hopefully, I get some card draw cards. There is a point in, in which that um, Iron Spider cannot be defeated because, or he won't be. Uh, he'll still fortify. If I get all the villains to come out that have more than two VP, he can't. He can't uh, be basically defeated. So, hope I don't get to that point. I've seen a lot of strong villains already. Two, three. Four, five. All right, not great, but at least there's three attack. Thank you, Evo Theory, for the water. I'll get that now. Okay, you guys are awesome. I'm having a blast. Turn 14 is... Although I would have done it, I should have fought Iron Spider. It was Electra. Fight if you played a Covert Hero this turn. KO one of your heroes. Nice way to get some KO. Um... So I'm going to try Fitzsimmons, although Recruit, I can get 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, I can get another Kingpin. Or, oh, I want Pull the Strings. Pull the Strings is the one I want. This is the one that uh, lets me gain new recruits. So I want to get that, that's first priority. So if I spend my 3 Recruit to get that, I have 1, 2, 3, 4 attack maybe. Maybe I can draw into some more attack. Okay, let's play Fitzsimmons as attack. 1 attack and a card draw. Let's see what I get. Yes! That's more attack. So let's play Kingpin. I'm not going to get... I don't have any new recruits yet. So I'm at four attack. Let's play my three recruit. One, two, three. And it's a covert. So Karma Kingpin are going to work pretty well if I can see more pull the strings. All right. Let's take pull the strings. For three. And replace another quiver of thunderbolts. All right. So if I... I'm going to play my soldier. That's five. If I play magic, that's seven attack. I'll put Maria back so we can see where she is. Is there any point in playing her or not? I can hit Red She-Hulk. She has Wounded Fury. I have no wounds. Um, each player goes a Covert or gains a wound. I don't think either player can do that right now. So she's not fun to fight anyway. So I think I fight Ms. Marvel. Or Elektra. No, I'd rather wait until I have Covert for her. I fight Ms. Marvel. I teleport Magic. Or I take out two Helicopters. Really, it can go either way. By the way, her her fortify again is she bl basically blocks out a HQ space, which I don't want to do. So let's let's spend the five. Let's take her out. There's a a master strike could push one of those out pretty quickly, and uh, let's teleport magic, which means she goes to my next hand as an extra card. And here she is. Six more cards. Two, three, four, five, six. That's pretty good. That's pretty good. That's a lot of attack. 
I might hit a mastermind. Two, three, four, five. Turn 15. Circus of Crime. All right. I do not outwit. So I just get two attack. A total of three. What's up, Time Roller? Thank you for the raid. Yes, there's a She-Hulk in both, in both of them, but different She-Hulk. This She-Hulk is, spoiler alert, that's uh, Betty Ross. Go check out Time Roller. Time Roller, every time I raid him, he's always playing a different game, and I'm doing the exact opposite. So <laughs> it's uh, pretty interesting to me. Um, okay. We've got... <laughs> no worries. I hope you get that fixed. So I fight the circus or I fight Maria Hill. Um, I'm definitely going to get Quiver of Thunderbolts again. And, uh, alright, more Space Cop. Um, I don't really care too much if the Shield Officer escapes over other things, so I'm going to fight the Circus of Crime. Once again, top card of my deck. Uh, cost zero. I do KO it. That was a good KO. She is. Yeah, it was, uh, honestly, it was inevitable. I have to get rid of her if I want to fight uh, Maria Hill, though, so I got to keep that in mind. I might just let some escape. It's going to hurt my score, but I might not win if I don't do that. Okay. I did get to KO a gray, though. So, one, two, three, four, five. A lot of grays. Maybe the sidekick will let me outwit, so Amadeus choke and draw yet another card. Right side has potential. I'm feeling really good about it. Okay, turn 16 gives us a computer hacker bias center. Electric captures the computer hacker, who gives me an extra card for the next turn if I rescue her. Okay, let's start with let's start with the uh, Ultrain Barbarian. Guess what? The sewers are empty thanks to that bystander. So two recruit. Uh, the sewers are empty, so I get a total of three recruit, and then I can trigger all the covert stuff that I have. And guess what I can do here? Uh, two attack, choose a villain. You get plus one attack for each villain adjacent to it. I choose Red she for both of these, so I get four attack for each soul rivalry card. I play the second one, which gives me up to eight. Because I get two base, plus one attack for each villain adjacent to Red she -Hulk. Wow, this is already a really strong hand. We've got uh, Temporary Possession. Gives me the chance for more. I'm going to guess this time... Ugh, so many colors. I'm going to guess Covert again. Going with Covert. It's Tech. It was Kingpin. Another one. So... Should I leave this one or tuck it? Leave it if I... I think I should tuck this one. I already have... I'm going to get two. I need to see more other cards. I'm actually going to tuck this Kingpin. Believe it or not. Um... Soldier's 11. I can get 13 if I play uh, Magic. So what could I do with 11 or 13 attack? I could take out 2, 4, 6, 8, 10, 5, 6 helicopters if I play Magic, which is almost all of them. The city is not that full, so that might be a good thing for me to do. I get a bunch of bystanders that way, too. I could hit Maria Hill, though, before she gets more tactics. Without having to worry about the helicopters right now. I could hit Maria without having to use magic. And I could play magic to hit a helicopter. I would have to get the shield up. Oh, I can't hit Maria Hill. I already played all my... I don't have enough shield clearance. So never mind. Forget that. That makes my decision easier. Let's hit a ton of helicopters. Um, I'll play magic for more... Oh, maybe not. Yeah, she has double shield clearance. So I have to discard two shield cards or Hydra starters to fight her. And I only have the one. I couldn't even take that back and do it anyway if I wanted to. I do enough to despair for an Iron Spider hit. Yeah, well, you know what? I might make turn that into a helicopter anyway. Left side's doing okay. Um, let's spend five. Let's hit five helicopters, spend ten attack. All right, let's do it one at a time first. Here we go. First one, standard. That's two attack. Second two attacks, four attack. Hey! I get Karma in bystander form, too. Third, uh, six attack total, another bystander. Eight attack total, another bystander. And ten attack total. An aspiring hero, I gain a sidekick. So I gain standard sidekick. Okay, so now I'm down to uh, three helicopters. Uh, my gut's telling me to teleport magic instead because I don't really need her this turn. 
I could hold off if I might need to use this to get to a certain threshold. So let's teleport her right now. And um, helicopters are villains, so I did fight them, so I can't rest my wound. Uh, three recruit, though. What do I want to do with that? I can only take space cop, which I don't really want over here. Um, let me go with one more sidekick. This time I'm going to recruit it. It's uh, Ms. Lion. All right, it's a covert sidekick. Pretty good. Okay, and uh, we'll see what we get. Yeah, left side is doing okay with the five card spray. Six is better. All right, look at that. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. If the buy that's empty, but I still have magic there, so it's a full recruit hand. Maybe I can uncover a. Uh, I don't know. I can uncover a rare. All right, here we go. Turn seventeen. Scheme twist. So the iron spider would have failed. But guess what that means? That's twist number four, which means that uh, Maria Hill has all her tactics now. So now it's out of ten. So that's a lot of fun. I have to do a lot of a lot of hitting the mastermind to make this work. All right, what do I want to do first here? Uh, probably the sidekick, so I can see if I can outwit. Let's go ahead and play. Timer schemes increasing. Sidekick first. Give me some other uh, costs. Zero. Zero. Nope. So, very simple, basic hand. I got one recruit, two recruit, three recruit, and two attack. All right. Well, as far as the recruiting, I'll get space cop. I think. Do I want any more space cop? It doesn't let me draw a card. It does let me get a bystander. But because it doesn't let me draw a card, it kind of gets in the way now. So, I... Karma happened. She got me like 11 attack and I just spent it all on helicopters. Um, I don't think I want these anymore. They're not worth it. Unless I get a cheering crowds card. But I don't know if I'm going to. So I've got my three recruit and I got my two attack. Do I go for Iron Spider or do I go for the helicopter? If I fail Iron Spider, he's going to go to the other side, which is going to really mess me up. I think I'm going for more helicopters. I'll spend two on a helicopter. Those are high priority right now. All right, it is standard bystander from the villain set. So there's two helicopters left. <sighs> right side's going to do a lot of recruiting, so I can take a sidekick and uh, not worry about the HQ not moving. Sidekick for two. I don't really want another space cop. And it's Lockheed. I have ranged over here. That's pretty good. Here we go. One, two, three, four, five. Almost did six, but I don't get six. Okay, I have Spectrums, and I get to draw a card without Wit, too. Yeah, that's pretty good. Two, three, four, five. Whoop, yep, a lot of Recruit this turn, so... You know what I'm not hoping for, or hoping for that doesn't happen. Okay, Scheme Twist. Speeding up this timer, I don't like it. That's Twist number five. Each Mastermind captures a Bystander. Two more Twists and I lose, just like that. I really hope there's one far down on the deck. I really need that right now. So, Aspiring Hero for uh, Thunderbolt Ross, and Marie Hill gets a standard bystander. Ouch. Okay, well, the sewers are still empty, so guess what? That means three recruit from all terrain, four, five, six, seven, eight recruit. So, what the heck do I take here? Maybe Kingpin? Although, Renegade Genius is not bad over here, too. It lets me draw a card. I have a lot of different costs. Look at my discard pile. I've got uh, 0, 4, 3, 3, 2, 3, 0, 5. Maybe not as many as I thought. I have a lot of 3s, actually. But I, yeah, but that means I can outwit if I don't have a lot of 3s. I'm going to take Renegade Genius over here. I think it's more useful on the right than it is on the left, despite the Amadeus Chove and all. And then I can take a sidekick. Or maybe I should take important legal weapons because I'll get more new recruits. But I think this is going to give me... Renegade Genius is going to give me more bang for my buck right now. Yes, I just need I just need the six cost and the zeros and threes will let me outwit. So that's a, that's a plus. Um, I haven't seen enough of the other Kingpins to make this worth it just yet. I only have the one common, right? That gives me, that gives me new recruits. 
So this will be better later, but I need this to show up. I'm, I'm going to do a reshuffle after this recruit too. So that's why I want to take Ren Renegade Genius right now. Yeah, I'm going to do it. I'm committing. Replaced with Interstellar Hero Nova. Versatile 2, cheering crowds. That's what I want. I got a lot of bystanders now. Um, let's take a sidekick. We're at for two. Standard sidekick. And uh, magic. I'm going to teleport her again. Oh, I appreciate that. Thank you very much. Okay, new hand. Shuffle up. Let's see what that uh, that bet with uh, Amadeus Cho is worth it. I would love to build a Kingpin engine, but I've only seen the one common, so... Not much you can do there. Hey, I have one of each class in the HQ. Look at that spectrum. Look, at that. I got tech, strength, instinct, covert, and range. It doesn't happen that often. Pretty nice to look at. I need a rainbow alert for when a rainbow happens. HQ rainbow. One, two, uh, one, two, three, four, five, six. Okay, that's something. All right, turn 19. Yeah, that would have failed Iron Spider. <laughs> but uh, now the city is going to be full. Let's let's do the Master Strike effect. Here we go. He, cran he transforms. He transforms in cross-dimensional. He transforms into Brian Cranston, Red Hulk. And then, uh, yes, cross-dimensional Hulk Rampage. Let's do the Rampage real quick. Did I get any Hulk cards? Um, not over here. Just checking my memory. Um, I have no Hulk in my hand, unfortunately. I did transform it, but I don't have it. That Ms. Marvel. I need to take out that She-Hulk for that. And yeah, no Hulks anywhere. Nope. Not here either. So, wounds. Two more standard wounds go out. If I press the button hard enough. Okay. And yeah, he's going to transform back into uh, Red Hulk. Good thing I took down most of the helicopters. Because I can't fight him now. Now Marie Hill's going to do her thing and put two more officers into the city. When you fight them, gain those heroes. And guess who we got? The first one is Agent May. That's decent. Okay. Let's play it through. I have Spectrum and I Outwit. The two check your cards for different three different things cards. Let's start with Spectrum. I knew this card was going to be good over here. To attack, draw a card. I draw into Space Cop. I'll play Quiver of Thunder... Oh, I play the Quiver of Thunderbolts. Here's Extrapolate. Outwit. I have three different costs. So I draw another card. It's Renegade Genius. All right. Now we're talking. I'll play Renegade Genius. Uh, you get one attack for each different cost of hero you have. I got two, three, zero, and six. So up to six attack with the plus four. And I do outwit once again. I draw another card. Let's make sure these are moved over. I draw a trooper. Okay, we'll play the other trooper I've got for seven. Actually, hold on. Maybe not. Am I, do I want to fight? I got to clear the city, so I will play it. Seven. Um, we've got three recruit. More. So I'm at four recruit. And then we got the space cops. I can split these uh, this up to one attack, one recruit, or two attack and two recruit. Um... I could get 9 attack and take out all 3 officers. That would be something. Then I'd be stuck with them. If I could use them to recruit more draw card cards. And then I could probably get hit Maria pretty soon. If I did that. That would be nice to clear them all. I could play this two for 2 attack, go 3, 6, 9. Get them all out of there. Although, I really am not going to have trouble KOing them if I want to later. But I have to get them out of there if I want to hit Marie Hill anyway, or let them escape. So I'm going to do it. Um, I'll play both Space Cops for attack. Well, I have to do them in order because they give me bystanders. The first one... You know what? Just to make sure I don't have the copycat come in and cause an escape, let's fight first. Let's fight the uh, officer in the bridge for three. And gain it as a hero. Down to four. Now let's play Space Cop for versatile one recruit, rescue a bice, or one attack, rescue a bystander.
Um, I have wounds on my discard pile. Yeah, so I've got one, two. He's got plus two. All right, bystander rescued is a standard. Okay. Let's play the second space cop. One more bystander. Paramedic. All right, I can KO some wounds from my hand or from any player's discard pile. I'm going to KO one of my own. Don't have any Grievous. So now Red Hulk's a little weaker, but I uh, get rid of the wound. And there we go. All right. Let's do it. Three and six taken out and gaining both of these officers. And let's take Interstellar Heroes for some cheering crowds with all those bystanders that I have. Cheering crowds means you get to play this card again. Yes, recruitment day is what I want on the right to gain a new recruit. But do I have a lot of strength on the right? I, I got Archon, his, his uh, dual class card. Counts. Four. Come on, give me give me a two more classes in one card. I don't have Spectrum, but I can trigger Holographic Projection from Archon. So I can get up to two, four, seven attack with these four cards only. I got one more. Five. Ooh, that's even better. Okay. Maybe I'll hit Marine Hill this turn. No officers in the city. Okay. Circus of Crime. All right. Let's do it. Um, starting with some draws. Let's start with Ms. Lion. And you know what? I get to use my little thingies here. So this is this says I've played a covert. Courtesy of GW Gumby who made these awesome tokens. So rescue a bystander. It is a comic shopkeeper. Draw a card. It is Amadeus Cho. And Ms. Lion goes away. The comic shopkeeper lets me look at the top three cards. This is great for karma. Uh, I don't have the card that lets me look, lets me look at the top card of the deck. That would have been great. Yes. Uh, the tokens. <laughs> hello, hello. Thank you for these. I can use it right now. So I just played a, uh, a sidekick that's gone, a covert one. And this will remind me that I played a covert card first. Uh, that's what one of the things you can use them for. Okay. Yes, because Iron Spider is fortifying the left-hand side, nerfing the left-hand side's draws. All right, there's a, I found a lot of uses for it. This is a great one. All right, top three cards of the deck. Oh, this is a rare coming. I really want this, but I can't get a card right now. So what order should I place these in? Let's get the rare out early, because I never know when I'm going to get it. And then holographic, and then karma. By the way, just so I know, this is a tech, just in case. Uh, okay. Let's... Yeah, no other card draws, so I might as well play Renegade Genius right now. Okay, I have six, three, zero, four. Four different costs. So I get four attack, and I draw another operative. Okay, let's sow Rivalry. Two more attack. I trigger from the Covert. Um, I only get plus one attack this way. I'll choose Electra. She hulks next to her. I get one more attack. And uh, let's go with one, two, three, three recruit. One more trooper gives me four uh, or eight. Now, if I, I might have to take some of that back if I want to hit Maria because I have to double shield clearance. So let me think about that for a second. If I play magic, I'll get 10 attack. I only need seven to hit her. I think it's worth not doing as much recruiting this turn to hit her. So let's back it up a little bit. Well, do I need the eight? Yeah, if I get eight attack... Well, the, the eighth's not going to do anything. Well, if I play magic and get ten, I can also hit the Circus of Crime. So I'll keep the soldier. Although, I'm going to five recruit with all terrain. And I can take the illegal weapons card. And I can't hit helicopters. I can, you know what? I'm going to try to hit Iron Spider or teleport her again. So let's uh, let's not play this soldier. So I'm at seven. I will have to discard the operative two for the shield clearance. Then I'll have two, four recruit. I can get, I can get uh, karma. If I get three total, I can just take uh, this kingpin. So that's fine. Let me discard two. I'll discard two operatives for the shield clearance, the double shield clearance. So I only have one recruit right now, and for seven attack, I think I can hit Maria Hill. Um, we've got. Uh... Yep, there's no shield in the city. I've paid my shield clearance, so let's hit her. Okay, one of her random tactics, because I have all four. 
It is this one, which is... Okay. Declare martial law. Put a shield officer into each empty space as three attack villains when you fight them, gain them as heroes. All right, well, I have three attack left. I can at least hit something. And we got... Oh, two special ones. We got Sharon Carter and Yo-Yo. Look at that. Tactic is gone, though. Good riddance. So now I definitely want to play the soldier and magic. Dre with the hit on the mastermind subscription. Gifted sub to Estimatic Oracle. Thank you so much for that, Dre. Um, so I could do this. I could hit the Circus of Crime. Then I could play all terrain and I can get three recruit and I have four and have enough for temporary possession. If I have two temporary possessions, that's pretty good because I can look at the top card, put it back and then look at it again and have guaranteed six attack with two cards. Or I could not fight the circus. I could get myself a special officer. Thank you, Bearable. I appreciate it. Then I have three recruit. That's fine. Um, let's hit the circus. Hitting the circus for three. Top card of my deck is so rivalry. Um, oh, I get to draw it. Oh, she did. She still does. Thank you. So I get this bystander on the right. Thanks for that catch. So I take uh, out the Circus of Crime. And I drew Soul Rivalry. So I get to get some more attack off, off of this. Here we go. And guess what? I get more attack. Two attack. Choose a villain. You get plus one attack for each villain next to it. Um, I'll choose Red She-Hulk. She's got two. So I'm up to four again. So I can hit something else. Um, I think I want to hit... I gave out uh, from some members of the community the two Dimensions henchmen, a uh, Iron Man promo, a Multiple Man promo, and one Thrones Favor promo, and one copy of Black Panther and Thrones Favor, courtesy of a whole bunch of folks in the, in the Discord. So you can check out the giveaway channel for that. But uh, that's super cool that uh, they were there for that. Um, okay. What to do? So uh, Sharon Carter would be a good one to get because she's covert. But Yo-Yo is also good. I'm going to go ahead and take... Um, Sharon Carter, so hitting her for three, gaining her as a uh, hero. I can always send her undercover later if I want to. And now I'll play All Terrain Barbarian, which will give me three recruit, and I patrol the sewers. It's empty. I got one more recruit. I'm at four. I'll take temporary possession. I don't have any strength for... Uh, I, actually, I do have All Terrain, but I'll take Judgment Recruitment Day later. I'm not going to shuffle it in yet anyway. Uh, okay, and replaced with that rare Amadeus Cho. All right. Pretty productive turn, I think. Now this is my hand next. Well, at least I get a new recruit. The lack of KO power is hurting me, so I'm just relying on drawing, drawing, drawing cards. Turn 21. She-Hulk, there she is again. But a different... Actually, there she is. Different She-Hulk. Not Red She-Hulk. This is um the one we're going to see in the show. Science changing strength. Escape fortify the villain deck when a master strike is completed from that deck. Each player gains the wound and She-Hulk enters the sewers. That's not great. Only two master strikes left. But uh, also I don't want any escapes. Let's see what I can do here. I've got 653. I don't have Spectrum, but I do have Outwit. So I should probably play Renegade Genius. Try to get Spectrum. And then try to draw more cards with that. So let's start with this. I got 6530. That's four attack. That's what it's netting me usually. And I draw a card. Not going to give me Spectrum. But I'll take what I can get. Two attack from Quiver Thunderbolts. Now I'll play Nova. Hold on. Let me figure out what else I got first. Uh, it's stuck. All right. Seven attack. I can hit Maria again if I take out Yo-Yo. So there is, a, there is a way I can hit her again. I would have to save these two for discard. Actually, I don't need to get the troopers. Hold on. If I play Holographic Projection for five attack of 11... I can fight Yo-Yo and her at the same time, discard two of my greys, and also keep the shield officer for a sidekick. Um, I think that's what I want to do. Let's get her out of here as fast as possible. I'm running out of time. So let's play the projection. Two attack. Versatile three, thanks to Quiver. I'll play it. I'll get it as attack. Although, can I get the rare this turn? One, two, three, four, five, six. I can't. So up to 11 attack. On the die here. Yep. 4, 6, 11. 
So let's um, let's hit her, but we have to take out Yo-Yo first, which is a card I want over here. So going down to eight. Let's uh, hit Yo-Yo, get her out of the city. She's the last shield in the city. And gain her as a hero. And I will discard my Agent and Trooper for shield clearance to hit her a second time. Tactic. Rapid response team. Two shield officers enter the city as three attack villains. When you fight them, gain them as heroes. So I might have my first escape. But uh, I'd rather... I'm worried about not winning at this point. At least... Uh, but they, they push Red She-Hulk. And uh, that's not great. But at least I got a tactic off of it. Okay. Second tactic down. I have two recruit left. I can get myself a sidekick or a space cop. Again, space cop's not really helping me so much over here right now. I need to draw a card. So I need a sidekick. Hopefully it's a standard. It is a standard. So I'll take it. Let's see if I have my first escape. Where she might give me wounds. We'll see if I get any covert. One. Two. Three. Four. Five. Six. I mean, I'm trying. Look, I have one, two, three, four recruit. If, it, if I don't get it, no big deal. Uh, a HQ refresh would be nice, actually, overall. Okay, turn 22. We have an escape. We do have an escape. Our first escape of the game. So one escape on the board for me. And she has an escape effect. Oh, yeah. So pull the strings isn't... isn't uh... No, what's the last card I drew? Let's see. I did... I think it was Amadeus Cho. So I don't have Amadeus Cho. Thank you. Unfortunately for me. Um, okay. It was yellow. Yep, it was the Amadeus. Thank you. All right, let's do this. Uh, each player reveals a covert hero or gains a wound. That's the escape effect. So I reveal a kingpin on the right. I avoid the wound. Left-hand side cannot. So left-hand side is going to gain a wound for this escape, which, uh, which literally hurts. And uh, she runs off and is going to cause a KO. Let's get rid of Space Cop. I don't really want it anymore. Okay. And we got a better card in its place. And Punisher Red Dot Sniper comes in. Fight. Reveal the top card of your deck if it costs zero KO. And if it's covert, draw it. I might just have to accept that I'm going to have a lot of escapes now. Because I need to focus on the Masterminds. I got to hit them eight more times. I haven't hit Ross once. Alright. Let's see what I get. Sidekick. Draw two. One, two. Sidekick again. Here we go. One, two. Let's play pull the strings. Whenever a card effect causes you to gain a new recruit this turn, put that new recruit into your hand. You gain a new recruit. New recruits are here. These are like sidekicks, except instead of getting two card draws, you get one card draw and one attack. Uh, but this goes into my hand. I will play it right now. I think I want to play it right now. How much attack am I going to get? If I play Fitzsimmons, I'll get uh, one, two. Yeah, it'll at least let me get an officer. So we'll start with a new recruit. One attack. Put it back. Draw a card. Karma. Oh, I have knowledge of this. Oh, I don't have to guess anyway. Reveal the top card of the hero deck. Get attack put equal to its permanent attack. What did I put there? Okay, top card of the hero deck is herself. So she gets two more attack from herself. Um... Put it back. Uh, fourth attack. So for four, if I hit Fitzsimmons, I can hit Electra, prevent her from escaping with a bystander, and letting me KO one of my heroes, which is good. So I think I'm going to go for the five attack. Let's take the one attack and draw a card. Yes, more karma. Let's play it. Temporary possession. I know what the card is. It's also her. So two attack. I guess covert. It's her. It's the same exact card. I'm up to nine attack. After all that. So now I can hit. Um, I can't hit Marie Hill this turn. Because that's three, six. And then seven on top of that. Uh, I can hit Red Hulk. If I want to. But then I'm going to have Electra escape. Wounded Fury. Do you have any wounds? I do have a wound. So he's at 10. So that makes the decision easy for me. I can't hit Red Hulk. I'm short one attack. These are all recruit cards. All right. So let's clear some things in the city. Let's fight Electra, And then an officer. 
I can do a KO from that. So let's play my operatives first. One, two, three, four. Four recruit. Hold off on all terrain for a second. Yeah, let's fight her. I get to draw an extra card next turn. Okay, uh, down to four attack. If I played a covert hero this turn, KO one of your heroes, I will KO one of my operatives. And get rid of Electra. And Computer Hacker, I get to draw one extra card at the beginning, or at the end of this turn when I draw my new hand of cards. Let's just keep clearing this city. Um, let's hit this officer here for three, and gain it. And for four, I will take Recruitment Day to hopefully in the future gain a new recruit. And temporary possession goes into the city. And, oh, I forgot about uh, this. That's okay. I, I probably would have taken that anyway. Uh, I got two more recruit. And um, I'll get a sidekick from this. I could have gotten a six cost, but it's okay. Um, sidekick. Hairball. A covert. Yep, happy about that. And let's move on. I got seven cards. One, two, three... Keeping the city pretty empty, okay. I was worried. And I'm still a little worried, because I can still lose to the scheme. There are eight twists, and I lose on twist seven, so I have to hope that two of them are pretty far down. Four, five, six, seven. I wish I could rest, but I cannot afford to. I have too much attack in that hand. Iron Spider's still messing me up. And I don't have Spectrum. I do outwit, though. Turn 23. Oh, I was just talking about these. All right, great. That's twist number six. I lose in the next one, which is awful, because I feel like I'm starting to do well. All right, each mastermind gets a bystander. Let's see how many turns I have left. It's a... It's a, it's a game of counting now. All right, Wolfsbane goes to Maria Hill. Oof. This is rough. Let's see how far I can get. Like Totally Smart Hulk, I outwit, so I get 2 plus 2, I got 4 attack. I don't have Spectrum, I just get 2 attack from uh, Quiver. That's 6 attack. I guess I can hit Red Dot Sniper for 6. Roll the top part of your deck, if it costs 0, KO it. If it's Covert, draw it. I can't hit anything else except for Maria Hill. Although I can hit She-Hulk, hold on. She-Hulk has size changing. And I have a Strength, so she's only f uh, 6 to hit. Um, yeah, I don't want her to escape, so I'm gonna go ahead and hit her for six. Use, a, like, Totally Smart Hulk to hit She-Hulk. Yep. I caught it. Just in the nick of time. Six attack. And... One, two, three. I'm sure somebody in chat can tell you better. But, uh... Yeah, I'm just gonna let somebody in chat do it, because I don't want to explain it here. But, uh, you basically just copy the, uh, the points on there. Or see the one where you fight him and you do the effect on the card. If he's that one, then you when you fight the when you fight him, you basically act as if you played the card underneath him. It's like you play a copy. I think that's the one we're talking about. Um, Let's see. Oh, my music's stuck. There we go. Three recruit left. Another sidekick for me. Throg. All right, Iron Spider is still here. One, two, three, four, five. Uh, I do outwit just barely. Turn twenty-four. Do I lose here? Oh, I was worried it was going to be a scheme twist. Circus of Crime shows up. I forgot for a split second that I lose in the twist, and I was like, as I was flipping it, oh no. <laughs> okay. Um, no activations here. 3 attack, 5 attack, 6 attack, 2 recruit, and 2 wounds. Um, I'm going to take out the red dot sniper because a chance that I could actually uh, draw a covert card this way, which would be really nice. Uh, let's try it. Fight it for 6. Top card of my deck is covert, so I draw it. That was a good bet. Alright, taking out, uh, taking that out. Alright. Let's play Karma. Oh. Do I have knowledge of this last one? I feel like I did. I just forgot what it was. It Was it arranged? 
Let's see. It was the it was the rare Amadeus Cho. Then it was Karma's possession. And it was a third card. I don't have knowledge. No, that one already came in. All right. Well, I'll, I'll just guess then. I want to guess range this time. But I'm gonna no. I'm gonna guess range. We'll see what happens. Nope. It was strength. Was not gonna guess that in a million years. Oh well. Um, I can just try to fight Iron Spider now. Why not? All right. So I have two. Finally, let's try to take him out. All right. Here we go. All right. Top card of the deck. If the scheme twists, I'm gonna cry. Okay. It is. Yes. Finally, five victory points. Also, no scheme twist next turn. So you are out of here, Iron Spider. Goes to the right-hand side's victory pile. Whew, that was nice. Sidekick. Zabu. Get rid of a wound that way. Moving on. Okay, let's go. I know I have one more turn at least. It's She-Hulk who comes back in. Again, she's got size changing strength and that fortify the villain deck effect if she escapes. And then she comes back in uh, after a master strike. Okay. Two, three, zero. I outwit. Let's start drawing some cards to outwit. One recruit. Draw a card. It is an officer. Another extrapolate. One recruit. Draw a card. Can I get the rare? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Almost get the rare. Oh, man. I only have seven recruit. That was very close. I almost got the rare Amadeus Cho this turn. So, two, four, six, seven recruit is what I have. And I'll play Lockheed and the Trooper for three total attack. We will take out the Circus of Crime. Maybe I can draw one more recruit. Okay, here we go. Top part of my deck. Yes, I do get to get the rare this turn. I draw Interstellar Hero and take out Circus of Crime. Let's play Interstellar Hero. And it's got cheering crowds. So let's play this for two recruit first. And then cheering crowds, I believe, I take a bystander and I put it on the bottom of the stack. I haven't used cheering crowds in a while. Yep, bottom of the stack. So bystander for my victory pile. So play this again. I will take the bystander to the bottom of the victory pile, or to the bottom of the bystander stack. If I play this, I get the 8 cost, and I have 11 recruit. Two attacks not going to do anything, so I'll get two more recruit. Up to 11 recruit. Sweet. Let's go ahead and get uh, visualize the variables. Maybe I'll get a chance to use it. Maybe not. For attack, whenever you use an outwit ability this turn, you may use it an extra time. And then outwit, look at the top card of your deck. Hey, I ought to put it back. It's coming to me for 8. 3 left. I don't want recruitment day over here. So let's go ahead with yet another sidekick. Darwin. And I get, get to, I get to draw uh, six cards this time. Oh, Lockheed's gone. Okay. One, two, three, four, five, six. Oof, not a great hand. Can't really afford bad hands at this point. I could lose at any turn. All right, let's see what I get. This is turn number 26. It is... Thundra. All right. By the way, let me count the villain deck. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15. And two of those are twists. Either one will make me lose. That's not great. At the most, I have 13 turns left. But I'm probably not going to get that many. Thunder gets plus two attack if there's any number of covert heroes in the HQ. Which there are. Ambush put each non-covert hero from the HQ on the bottom of the hero deck. Okay. That's her thing. So I just got the rare in time. <laughs> so goodbye Kingpin, Nova, Archon, other Kingpin. That's funny. I just got the rare. All right. Let's go ahead and fill it up. Space Cop. Temporary Possession. Quiver Thunderbolts. All-Terrain all Barbarian. No other rares showed up, huh? So she's going to be a uh, six attack for a little bit. Okay. Let's see what I can get. Um, do I want to... I probably want to send Sharon Carter undercover because I have a lot of officers. 
but I have to decide that when I play her. So I'm going to get two, four, six, seven attack if I do everything. And I can hit Maria Hill. But I have to keep these two. No, but I can't because I have to play. No, I have an officer here too, so I can't hit her. Well, no, hold on. I'm going to get two, six, seven. I have these two shield, but I need three more to clear that officer first, which I'm not going to get. But one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Can't hit Red Hulk either. I'm going to be able to hit Shulk for six. Or I can take out Thundra. Patrol the sewers. Let's say I take out Thundra. I get four attack, six attack. Take out Thundra. Sewers are empty. I get three recruit, four, five, six recruit. I can get seven if I send her undercover. But there's not really anything I can do with that. I got... I could take another temporary possession and then uh, see what comes up or take all-terrain for the classes. But I have to play Sharon Carter all-terrain first before I play Soul Rivalry to get the effect. Um, okay, let's do this. Playing Sharon Carter, I will send her undercover because I have plenty of officers. So I get three recruit from that. I've played a covert. And I'll immediately play Soul Rivalry. Um, four attack because I picked She-Hulk and there's two villains adjacent to her. Um, I'll play magic. Two more attack. Or should I keep magic and just try to hit a mastermind? That's probably my best interest. But if I play the soldier, that's not enough to hit anything. If I play it for five, except for the officer. Shield goes down to six. Let's play magic. Up to seven. We'll do plan A. Take out Thundra. Um, take her out for six. She's going to be there for a while. All terrain gives me um, three more recruit up to six recruit. And a seven. I'm a seven recruit. Right? Because I played 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7. That's correct. Let's take another temporary possession. Those are working well for me. I have three left. And um, I can take a quiver over here. I have, I'm have i getting spectrum pretty often. I need more attack than recruit right now anyway. So I'll take a quiver. And there's another transforming Amadeus Cho. And let's keep going. One, two, three, four, five, six. More card draws coming up. All right. Moment of truth. Every single turn's moment of truth because I could get a, a scheme twist. Is this one a scheme twist? Come on. I want to win my two anniversary game. Oh, okay. Uh, Curse of Dynamo is not in Black Widow, is he? No, Red Guardian is. Oh, we don't know. No, we've seen all the villains. He's not in it. All right, fight. Choose a covert here when the HQ would cost two less this turn. Not the turn I would have preferred. That to I guess I can fight him on the other side. All right, let's see what the heck I can do here. I don't have Spectrum. Yeah, this is a bad hand. So most I'm going to get is two. Four attack. Two recruit. And uh, one versatile. So there's nothing I can do for four attack that I... For five that I can't do for four. Um... So there's no point in doing that. So I'll play Space Cop for a recruit. Definitely living on borrow time right now. Oh, shoot. Okay. Um, I'm going to recruit Gamma Draining Nanites. And I'll fight the shield officer just to make it easier to hit Maria Hill. And we'll move on from there. Yeah, I'm very nervous. It's all about how many, how much VP can I get? Because if I'm playing for the league, I want a high losing score. Unfortunately, oh, actually, fortunately, I'll get a higher losing score by having more turns and more VP, more points per turn. So, we'll see. 
And we're already two hours in, so I'm not going to have time to replay this. So this is it for today. But I'm having a blast with it, so I think you guys are going to enjoy the setup too. Yeah. I, which I can't confirm. We don't know if there's any extra villains we haven't seen. So Rich might surprise us with that, which will be nice. A nice pleasant surprise. Six. All right, six cards again. Still not a lot of attack. But I did get Throg and a lot of Recruit. Come on, let me at least make it to four o'clock. That would be nice. If I can make it to four o'clock, I'll be happy. All right, it is... Okay, not a twist, it's a strike. <laughs> Still not great. All right. Yeah, a lot of them are. Uh, here we go. Red... Almost said Red Skull. That would have been easier today. Red Hulk transforms... Then stack a random bystander from each player's victory problem next to this as a helicopter. Any player who can't gets a wound. I'm pretty sure every player can. So I'm going to pick a randomly. All right. There's one. I'm just shuffling around until I get a card and I'm looking down and seeing what it is. Okay. This one. Yep. This is a bystander. Okay. Two more helicopters go out. I wish they could be special ones because I could get them back and do the effects, but not so lucky. Four. Four helicopters now. And, uh, yeah, he's going to transform back into Thunderbolt Ross. So now I have to fight helicopters again. Yes, it is. She's my second mastermind today because, you know, of course she is. All right. And she does her master strike now. Uh, if you want to see the setup, she is on the setup. So just go ahead and check that out. Yeah, I'm having, I'm struggling. Um, okay. Two shield officers come in. I'll be very interested to see the alternate realities as uh, as in how your games go. But definitely play on borrowed time right now. All right, let's see if I can do some damage here. Hairball. Hairball here. Draw a card. Put hairball away. And I've played my covert. Uh, let's guess. A oh, let's draw first. Let's go attack with Fitzsimmons. Uh, one attack, so I'm at two attack, one from Hairball, one from Prince Simmons, and I draw a card. It's Amadeus Cho, Renegade Genius. Sweet. Uh, no more cards to draw. So let's play this. One attack for each different cost of hero I have. I got three, three, zero, three, four, three. If only I still had the, the uh, two cost. So six, three, zero, four. I'm up to six attack, and I outwit for sure. So I draw into an operative. And here we go. Let's guess Covert this time. Because I don't know what it is, right? Oh, wait. That Kingpin did show up before. So I'm going to guess Covert. Nope. It's uh, it's an instinct. That's a tough one. I can get a new recruit, though, which is cool. Um, I'll play all terrain right now. Two recruit. Control the sewers. It's full. I'll play Recruitment Day. Two recruits. Gain a new recruit. Not to my hand because I don't have the other card. But uh, I do gain one right now. I, I'm doing like the, the Yu-Gi-Oh! Hold the cards like this. I summon new recruits in defense mode. One, two, three, four. It was just easier for me, okay? Okay. Uh, before I play these, I'm, do I want shield clearance? No, I can't fight Maria anyway. So I'm just going to play them all out. Five, six, seven, eight. Okay, I can get on the helicopters. That'll be fun. Let's do that. Let's hit, because I have no time to lose. Let's let's get rid of all the helicopters. So I'm going to spend all eight attack on helicopters. Get them all out of there. So two is a bystander. Four, standard bystander. It doesn't matter what order. I'm going to get them all. Six, undercover agent. Probably should have shuffled them, but it's the same. Uh, oh, cool. More shield officers. I'll give this one to myself. And then one more is a standard. So, got all those bias standards. Thunderbolt Ross is six attack and exposed. But only for now. No helicopters left. Let's go with, for recruiting purposes. <laughs> I guess you could. There are technically trap cards. Also, there's kind of a, there's kind of a shadow realm in some of the schemes. I'm not going to go any further into that. All right. Um, I'm going to get the other Renegade Genius, actually. Or... Yeah, let's do it. Renegade Genius. I got no time to waste. 
An extrapolate comes in. Go to the sidekick. Rusty. Yeah, the KO power is rough in the setup too. One, two, three, four. And a shuffle. All right, two more. Five, six. Cool. Yeah, it's a lot of junk cards making it hard to do what I want to do. Because a Circus of Crime, again, is not a guaranteed KO. All right. Does the game end here? Let's find out in three, two, one. Oh, I swear I thought it was going to be a scheme twist. Well, I got a full city. Um, got a weird hand, but I can do something. I'm going to go uh, Agent, Agent, Officer. That's four recruit. I'm going to play Agent May, who gives me two more recruit and lets me draw a card thanks to the three shield I played. It's another agent. I'll play the agent. Throg's going to... I have one, two, three, four, five, six, seven recruit. Uh, Throg, up to nine recruit. I made at least six recruit, so I get two attack. Throg goes away. And uh, Space Cop, I'm going to take the attack so I can hit something in the city. Uh, I... Don't rescue a bystander. Should we get another Maria out of there? I could hit the Circus of Crime, but again, if I don't get the Marias, I can't hit her. So we'll take and gain a Maria again. These Marias also are loading up the deck. But I can get some more stuff. I'm going to start with Extrapolate, actually. Maybe a 7 cost rare will show up and make me happy. Oh, an 8 cost rare showed up. Oh, so close. Not a lot. I think like 10, but I'll check. I'm going to take a Warlord out of here. Two left. Okay, got another Warlord. Sidekick. Layla Miller. If only this game used Recruit for something, I could really take advantage of that. Okay, before I move on, let me count the number of cards in the villain deck. There are 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12. Not great. Not great odds at all. Could be any turn now, including this one. Here we go. Turn 30. Another circus. I've never been happier to see these circuses. Okay. Let's start with Karma. Let's see what I got. Top card of the hero deck is... No printed attack. Too bad I can't even tuck this one. And then pull the strings. Basically, I get a new recruit to my hand. So I'll play it immediately for one attack. And a card draw. It's so rivalry. Cool. I choose the Maria Hill right in the middle. So I get two attack base, two attack for the villains opposite her. And I've got three recruit. Well, it's not enough to hit them. I can almost hit Ross. He has no helicopters, but I'm short one attack. If only Karma didn't completely fail me there, I wouldn't be able to do it. Um, if I hit Circus of Crime, I might be able to fight to draw a card. And that might put me back up, depending on what I draw. Okay, I'll put those in, Ollie. Um, I mean, that's my one shot, right? We'll do it. Circus of Crime. Down to two. Top card of my deck. Nope, I KO the zero cost. Yeah, there's a lot of cool coincidence here, but uh, they're only doing so-so. I mean, that was my one shot to get more cards drawn, but it didn't work. And I don't have enough recruit to get what I want either, so... I'll take an Ultrain Barbarian, and I'll wall crawl it. No, I don't even want this. I want a sidekick. <sighs> okay. Think happy thoughts. It's honestly perfect for a uh, two-year anniversary stream to have a setup that just totally beats me down. I mean, I am fighting for my life here. I haven't given up. I'm trying and trying, but I might lose right here. Here we go. Three, two, one. Still. <laughs> it's teasing me now. I'm getting nervous every time I flip a card. Electra comes in. <laughs> it's just dragging me along. Sidekick. What if I didn't put all the twists in there? I definitely did, right? Yeah. I've got, uh, how many twists in there? Eight? Seven? Eight? Yeah. 
They're all in there. Okay. Let's, uh, what was I even doing? I lost my train of thought. I played a sidekick, right? Did I just play a sidekick? I'm losing my mind here. I'm going to draw two cards because I hear otherwise. <laughs> I don't distract myself. One, two. Okay. There we go. So I got some good stuff here. Thank you. I, I moved on to one thing and I completely lost my short-term memory. just deleted itself. So thank you for watching. <laughs> okay. You know what? I just looked at the clock. We hit the two-hour mark. This always happens when I hit the two-hour mark. That's that's My internal clock says once you hit two hours, you, uh, you lose your mind. Okay. There's evidence for this. Go back and watch it. So check this out. This is pretty good. Um, I've got um, Outwit. So I'll play it like Totally Smart Hulk. I'm at four attack. And let's play Renegade Genius as well. All right, how many different costs? I got a five, two, zero, three, four, six. Wait, why did I say four? There's no four. I got five. I got. Let's go in order. Zero, two, three, five, six. That's five more attack. Up to eleven. Oh, up to nine. And outwit draw a card. Okay. Um, let's play Darwin. Let's get all our attack. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. I could get Karma's rare this turn if I. Do, uh, play Space Cop as Recruit, and then play Darwin after a Recruit card. But that's an X-Men trigger, so it's not good for this side anyway. So I'm going to avoid that. But yeah, I do want to play Darwin after Space Cop so I get both symbols. I'm just trying to figure out if I want to Recruit the Rare or not. Um, I don't think I do. Okay, but yes, I do want to play Space Cop first so I get the Recruit anyway. So, uh, let's pick what I'm going to versatile. Let's see. I'm going to get 9, 10, 11, 12. So, 12 attack. If I get 13 from versatile, because I have to decide now, I can go... It is. But also, my deck is this, so I probably will never see it before the game ends. Um... So, if I, I can hit Ross, well, he's going to get more helicopters. So, 6, 12. I should just get as much attack as I can get, just, just to be safe. So, I'm going to go up to 10. I'll take Versatile for 10. Uh, for 1. And I'll rescue a Bystander. So, let's see if I have an escape. Nope, just a regular Bystander. Okay. Now, we'll play Darwin. Up to 12 attack and up to 2 recruit for both symbols being there. 13 attack. All right. So I should probably hit some masterminds, even though the city's full. So Maria Hill has two tactics left. Ross has all his tactics left, but no helicopters. I could maybe hit Ross twice, but I think all his tactics give you more helicopters. Plus he transforms, so that's going to make it hard to hit him twice. Um, I could hit the officer, go to 10, and then I can hit Maria Hill, and then I can hit Circus of Crime. That way, I could prevent uh, She-Hulk from escape. Oh, she got size changing. She's, she's a six. So I could hit She-Hulk. I'd have seven left, but then I couldn't hit Maria Hill. So let's let's go for Maria Hill. I'm going to go ahead and go down to ten. And take out the shield officer. I got to get these... I got to get these... Uh, I'm going to hit the three costs because she might put two officers in the city. So let's hit the Circus of Crime first. Maybe I'll draw something. And uh, AJ Scott, happy one year bagel. Thank you so much. I appreciate that. It's two years. Happy one year after the second year. But happy one year for your uh, subs. Yeah, oh, that's what you meant. So, again, post two o'clock, four o'clock. AJ Scott said happy one year. Happy one year of AJ Scott's subs. So happy two years for me. Happy one year. You get it. All right. Thank you so much. Very kind of you. All right. Here we go. Uh, top card of my deck. It's a zero cost. No extra draws. Gone. Okay. Down to seven. Let's do a shield clearance. I have to discard an officer and an agent. And we hit her again. Uh, I got Wolfsbane. But I got a tactic as well. Evacuation code Epsilon. Each other player reveals their hand and discards a shield card. Okay, well at least she doesn't put anything in the city. Um, I'm going to actually choose the operative. So I discard the operative. And she is gone. One more tactic for her, and then I gotta do the final blow. And uh, Thunderbolt Ross is sitting pretty here. Let's get a sidekick. 
See how much longer I can survive this game. Three, four, five, six. One. Oh, this goes to my Discord pal. Okay. Here we go. See what happens here. Turn 32. Will I survive? I don't survive. There it is. The Dark Alliance has concluded. And Thunderbolt Ross and Maria Hill got on the helicarrier and blew everything up. And evil wins. And uh, that's it. Oh, man. I want to say... I want to say... That if it wasn't Marine Hell, I would have had maybe a shot. But I had to manage those officers that came in. But, uh, yes. Oh, man. All right. So that's a loss for me. <laughs> Two more years of bagels. Thank you guys for supporting me for these couple of years. Uh, with this little thing I started for fun and now has come, turned into this amazing community. By the way, we have almost like 700 people in the Discord, which is also blowing my mind. So if you're not in the Discord, come join the Discord. Um, there's a lot of stuff going on there. I don't have time to go over it right now. But let me go ahead and give the rewards. We had 10... How many? 100,000 points on the line here? All right. After I do this, let me know how many points you get. It was a loss. Okay. There are 90,464 channel points going out. So there you go. Enjoy those. Let me go ahead and count my VP for the for the league. But RIP points for some of you and holy crap, a lot of points for some others of you. <laughs> she does. She even shows up in setups where she's not the main mastermind, which is really annoying. But kind of perfect, poetic that she showed up today. And all all of you watching, thank you for being here. Please stick around. I'd like to go pay it forward and raid somebody at the end of my counting my VP. And um, you will get some channel points for doing so. So please stick around. Um, here we go. Left side, I got 6, 7, 8, 9, 14, 20, 21, 22, 23, 24, 28, 31. And I believe I just have the uh, Amadeus Cho. Yeah, so he's 32, 33. 33 on the left. Only rare I got. Right hand side. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 8, 9, 12, 16, 17, 20. Um, Burloom, that was the very first viewer challenge I did. Search that on my YouTube channel. Uh, Mr. Draft commissioned it. Uh, 21, 22, 28, 29, 30, 31, 32, 35, 36, 37. On the right. 32 turns. I only had the one escape, though. Which is pretty good for when Maria Hill shows up. Um, okay. That is that. Thank you guys for watching and doing all everything possible to support the channel for the last couple of years. Can't wait for more. We have more stuff coming up. Um, we have uh, Black Widow stuff coming up soon. We have a... Uh, the Illuminati group, we're talking about the next uh, viewers play. We have a pretty cool theme for you guys. We should have a Chaos Mode stream coming in, coming up soon. And a lot of other things. Oh, and the Challenge Mode. Uh, if you want to check out what the Classic Mode is all about, find the pin in the General Legendary chat. Or not the pin, go to the uh, the threats. Uh, Alright, let's go see who's playing some board games and who we can raid. Who is on right now. I'm going to go rest my voice. Thanks for bearing with me with this. Um... Time Roller, you raided us. Are you back? I can't tell. Oh, you know what? We're going to go ahead and go to Girls Game 2. They have five. They're playing a game right now. They got five viewers. This should be fun. Uh, all right. Yeah, this will be fun. I'm going to go drink some hot tea and uh, do some Discord stuff, give you guys your packs and everything. So get those Black Panther requests in. I will see you next time for the next Legendary Stay legendary, is what they tell me to say, and uh, have a great upcoming weekend. I love you all. Go have fun with this setup. I cannot wait to see the comments on this one. Take care, everybody.